Fellas, any of y'all been quarantined with your boo? Tell the truth. The whole time? About a month? She done slipped up yet? Because you be around your woman real long, she'll slip up and you'll find out she got some niggas on the side too. Yeah. 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 You be, you be, hey, you, that's too real. You ain't got to slip. The bitch she, just got him. She, <laughs> think, she thinks she going to catch you. You ain't, you ain't on that. You want other niggas to hit her. You like, oh! <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> Hit you upside though, fuck it! Who is Buddy? <laughs> Who is Buddy? Look a bit dead in her face, black. Like, Stop fucking playing with me, man. <laughs> That's what a nigga need. <laughs> <laughs> fuck all that. No more domestic violence, man. Use umbrellas. The umbrella. Bro. They ain't gonna believe that shit. He hit me with an umbrella, black. Like, look. Why would I hit a bitch with Come this? Come on, man. I done broke it. Fuck. It ain't even about the pain. It's sometimes you just want to annoy her back. I just can't do shit, bro. Like, I, I only got to break some shit, bro. Did you break that? Yes. Bro. I knew it. Put that shit down. Is I only yours? did. I only was using it how it was invented. Is it yours? No. You're going to fuck the hook up. Shit sound like a goddamn 14. <laughs> 14? What's that? <laughs> Nigga turn anything to a gun. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> It did still work though if you hold about the tip. Damn, I always break some shit. <coughs> I got the old people chat still. You done ran out of shit to do at the house yet? Yeah, nah, no, I'm still inventing and creating. Shit, I'm about to sell some show to Netflix and shit. We ain't playing with these niggas. For real? Just cause nigga I'm making phone calls. Fuck that. So your phone game up. Man, what? I'm using the resources. They ready. They're going to be ready to work by the time they got their quarantine. I got so much shit ready to get them. Oh, this is a good ass question. I should work for fucking like NBC or Fox. You should. No, nah, you go. Out. You go work for them. What's the strangest celebrity friend call you done got yet? Like, out of all your celebrity friends, what's been the most? Damn, I ain't heard from this nigga in a long ass time. Man. <laughs> hey, ain't nobody. Them niggas ain't calling me. For real. Hell no. Nah. Who called you? It's just you, motherfucker. Random motherfucker. For real. Oh, yeah. Who? Uh, well, Deion Sanders, he hit me sometimes. For real, he be hitting. He be talking good shit, though. Oh, no, that's Why? But the nigga hit me and we'll end up talking about the playoff game from 97 or something. It'd be. <laughs> we some crazy shit. Man, we'd be talking about some <laughs> shit that happened 20 years ago. Y'all five. Right. Uh, nah. Few of my partners from the NFL, they just be hitting me randomly. Hey, what the fuck you up to? Nah, I, I be talking to Tip sometimes. I ain't gonna lie, man. I don't be know what the fuck that nigga be saying. For real? Hell yeah, nah, bro. I just be playing that shit out, bro. <laughs> like when he's when like it crazy, it crazy. Cause he make me go read, bro. Like when we talk that Atlanta talk, when we start talking in codes and shit, I know everything he say. He like, yeah, little bro, I'm finna go bust a cup of cone, yeah, I mean, <laughs> finna go, you know what I'm talking about? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> I know what's happening. Then he might be saying, yeah, then this, then some old bitch here, perpendicular, up there. I be like, okay, perpendicular, up there. <laughs> yeah, bro. Okay, sensitivity of obeliscus. I'm like, bro, these some, bro, these words be at least 12 letters. The crazy shit is Tip will use a word that you know. And he'll still make you have to question what the fuck you got going on. I be having to <laughs> use that nigga you like, where you at? Shit, I'm on the west side. Like, yeah, I'm parallel to you. <laughs> but where you at, though? <laughs> nigga, I'm adjacent to your current position. <laughs> nigga, can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> but I end up knowing what the hell he say. Oh, uh, yeah. We, we end up getting on the right page by the end of the conversation. When we say bye, we both say bye. To, so we, we know exactly that was the end of the conversation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, on some real people been posting this shit all day, and I, I feel it. They said the quarantine been a blessing in disguise. For real. You feel like that? A little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because now I done tapped into a lot of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? More family time and engineering. You dig what I'm saying? So it like you been producing too. Producing and shit. I ain't playing. You making your evening. whole music from scratch by yourself. I gotta have a, a, a EP called I recorded myself. You lying? Shit. It gonna call. It's gonna be called I recorded myself. All the songs I record. I'm gonna get a mix and master. I'm gonna put that shit out. My boy J O N got some beats on that bitch. Talk your shit J O N. You need 98 Windows speakers. Oh, he sent you some music. Y'all been working on man, some shit. Man, what? But Jay, I don't know what he be doing at the house with that motherfucking guitar. 
Oh no, he be kicking everybody out the house like, I'm about to play my guitar, y'all get out. <laughs> Nigga kick his old brother out. He be like, but it's me. I don't give a damn, get out. Nah, nigga, you ever been over Craig in them house? Well, if you're in it, uh. Them niggas, them niggas be over there, right? It's two it's people like, with one bedroom. Right? I'm like, somebody, don't, what the fuck? Don't do them like that. Don't make, don't do them like that. I was that talking. <laughs> you gonna have everybody thinking them niggas sleeping. <laughs> and nigga, foot the head. Nigga, don't do them like that, bro. I'm talking shit. It's J O N's room. <laughs> Book all Craig clothes in there. Yeah! <laughs> you had to knock on the door. What? Didn't I tell you to get out? They don't do them like that, man. You're going to make everybody think that nigga got a life. Nah, book. but I got a two bad room. Two, two bad, nigga. Four, too. Yeah. You're going to have a world thinking he's a light skinned nigga who don't say nothing with a soft voice. Man. Nah, don't man. Throw the nigga out there. He only changed when he put his glasses on. When he take them off, his voice changed. He be like, hey, yeah, what going on? <laughs> I can't put the glasses talk like on, that. this shit gets soft. Yeah, I can't talk. Hey man, my phone over there. Hey man, y'all know what time it is. <laughs> Before we even get into this shit, man, I, I miss the road so much. Tell me some of the 85 South Show moments that you miss, nigga. Bruh, I just miss, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the most exciting part about the 85 South. This is my most exciting part of the show because I know for a fact it's about to go down. This is the most exciting part when even when when Cat be up there, and this is with, dealing with Cat, when Cat be up there, and he, you know what I'm saying, he calling out everybody, he explaining all our, you know what I'm saying, our accolades, and when he get to that, he be like, we got Chico Reed, everybody. I'm like, oh shit, here you go. He be like, we got DC up like, and then we got the ladies, man. Carlos, man. I'm like, oh shit, y'all, here we go. It's like, it's no turning back. We, we about to go out there and fight. You feel what I'm saying? And when he That's say, the moment welcome that you, to the 85 South Show. That you get in the cannon and they about to shoot you yeah. about Boom! <laughs> That's my favorite part, bro. Cause yeah. like once we on stage, it's like nigga, we finna go rock. For it's real. just like, damn. I be wanna know how excited they is to see a motherfucker, you feel me? Man, I got so many favorite moments. But it's like if I start going down, I'm just gonna go from like the last few shows we did. Like, I can't I can't the really say my smoking favorite the moment. blunt on the oxygen. Oxygen tape was probably did. <laughs> I wanna say that was the, the most like epic. Hell yeah, we got auntie in here on the oxygen. What's up, baby? See on the goddamn action. Get your oxygen. shit, girl. What's up, girl? Love you, oxygen. baby. That's your mama. Hell yeah. You know your mama still be fucking with the oxygen on. <laughs> Herman, turn that tank up. This for auntie on the oxygen. Everybody, put your lighters up. This for our auntie on the oxygen. Auntie Do she be smoking for real? You pass it to her, nigga. You pass it to her. Auntie about to hit that block for real. You gonna get me? Auntie about to hit that block for real. Talk your shit, Auntie. Talk your shit, Auntie. Auntie. Talk your shit, 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 Auntie. That wasn't in Philly. First of all, that motor was strong. Nigga, this nigga here. Let ride. Boy, if you don't look like you, boy. Boy, left, left, my queen. DC, DC, get left. off the back of that lady chair, cause if she come out that chair, left. Oh, her shit come with a goddamn. She can go fishing on that motherfucker. Her hey man, get your ass off that lady shit. Damn. Where you going down? Don't go, don't crush my feet. Don't crush my feet. She got an Android screen on her wheelchair. That shit going crazy. Down. You going down? All right, why you going down? Okay, come on. She said so we can go faster. I love you. Ah, shit, pick up speed! Let go, baby, let go! Ah! <laughs> Who the fuck hit me on my ass? Ah! I can't see, I'm with my baby. Let's ride, dude. Need for speed. All right, you gonna bust it left, I'm gonna do the noise. Hey! I'm gonna act like we drip. Hey. Ah! hey, man! This nigga is on the back oh. of the lady wheel. Turn this motherfucker like it's an 18 wheeler. Let's ride, baby. I feel like right. I'm in a parade. I know. This nigga getting rolled around the venue like Beyonce. Nigga, what the fuck? She go. I'm in a parade. I'm right. Go, baby. baby. Go, boo. So these right niggas, baby. baby. Hit the left. Ah! I said, I'm right baby. With baby. Come on. I'm right with baby. You act like you're going to the finish line. Baby. I'm right with well, my baby. Well, she had an LT2 motor. For real, hit me. I've been wondering how she doing through all this. 
I Guess who hit me today, Ooh. ironically? Nigga, wheelchair man. I was just mad. He hit me too. He <laughs> sent me a video. That nigga said he just got some new uh, rims on that chair. He texted it to you or he said? He, he said on Twitter. Oh, he, he, oh okay. he sent me a video. I ain't know what the hell he was saying. What else? The lady with the little ass jacket on in, in Jacksonville. Remember, oh. she had the little coat. The little red coat. You remember play? you had that little coat? She might, had that coat. I might ain't gonna lie, Prada. The best moment was <laughs> when we were taking pictures. <laughs> and it was a lady down there. <laughs> she, soon as she was like, got shoulder to shoulder, they were like, snap! And they were like, next. And she was like, it's done? Damn! And bro. <laughs> That's still your favorite book. <laughs> 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 Another one of my hey, favorite moments. Hey, my grab like two of them. That bitch was like, saying, damn, about the dust. She's like, damn. That's all I like, get, damn. <laughs> Another one of my favorites, the lady with the little arm. The nub. Yeah. I was going to say that too, but I didn't want nobody to get it. You know why it was so funny? That she was so funny. Why? Because the whole time, like during the show, we making the joke. Like, it's somehow we ended up making a joke about somehow if your girl had a little arm or something. Mm -hmm. And then it's like. She was right there. As, as we taking the picture with the lady before her, I see her and she ain't even, she like, yeah, this this what it is. So we not even knowing that this is a real lady in the crowd with a disability. Did not know. Nigga, she, when she popped up and she was like, I heard y'all talking y'all shit. I started to jump up and do y'all ass like this. I, I lost. Nigga. I lost. I want to say I lost. I, and I, I want to say for the mo well, another moment, it wasn't even doing the show, y'all. Like, can I be trying to tell y'all the after effects, the pictures, when we taking pictures, that's real life. Bruh, when you told that white girl, she said she looked like she wanted a girl off more. I, I have sex with ice cream. She don't listen to shit her parents say. <laughs> Fuck you, those are my cigarettes. <laughs> 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 Dude. That's fucked up, man. You could fly. She's about to go listen to some Green Day when she leave this house. She's about to go down to some Green Day. My cigarettes. She's about to go down as soon as she leaves here. That nigga's stupid. Listen to some Kurt Cobain on the way home. Who the fuck ate my tater tots? Look, fucking this, hate this place. This is her little sister. She even works. So what? I have sex for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to shit anyone says. I'll punch that bitch in the face. Yeah! Bro, I probably walked out the building and walked around that bitch twice just to catch that bro. Bro, that was probably the most funny shit I ever heard, bro. He said to myself, fuck you, I like to have sex. No, no what'd you say? He said, so what, mom? I like to have sex for ice cream. <laughs> My mom makes me mad. I punch that bitch in the throat. <laughs> so what? I like to have sex for ice cream. <laughs> she looked like that with that blood, bruh. We have some fucking ah. epic moments. Bro. Oh shit! She wants sprinkles. Bro, <laughs> 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 ah. ah. you know what else I miss? Bro. I miss all the people who used to make their own '85 South Show merch. I don't. I, do. I don't. I don't, cause boy, they be having my face droopy. <laughs> hey, man, this you. I'm like, bitch, that is not me. I'm like, uh-uh. Hell no. Please save your money for better seats. You an asshole. You're not a people person. I am a people. Oh, not all people. You a kind of bitch get out your face. They be like, hey, Carlos, I love you. Uh-uh, your breath stank. I'm like, damn. <laughs> hey, man, you, damn. Fucked, you a fucked up individual. Damn. Hey, you remember when that bitch sprayed that perfume on me? Oh, when she sprayed that perfume, you like, oh, bitch, that shit stank. I said, that nigga crazy. I, was... I walked right into it. I was like, it's OK, ma'am. <laughs> Ugh, damn, that shit's strong as fuck. <laughs> spray perfect. That bitch spraying some fabuloso on the nigga. What the hell? That nigga call you all you hear this. This bitch tried to spray some old nasty ass cologne on me. I gotta go on stage. I got to feel comfortable, bitch. <laughs> I was mad as fuck. <clears throat> hey man, that shit is hilarious. You got the clip of that. Oh shit. Oh, play that shit. Drop then. that bitch, isn't it? I 
Now look, I do need to apologize because it's very harsh. I don't think I should have went there. I was upset though. I turned around and the lady sprayed perfume like right she in my mouth. She did ask my guy. He just turned around and got and then, caught with that. That's literally stuff. assault. That's and she assaulted me. Yep. That lady caught, and I didn't know the lady, and she just took it upon herself to spray perfume on me. So I just had to give that disclaimer. Shout out my nigga wheelchair man, man. He probably one of the Bruh. coolest niggas I know, man. I was gonna say that about all the people that come to our shows with disabilities. Cause yeah. I got this joke about whatever wrong with you, somebody like that shit. Yeah, and yeah. I did the joke about a nigga falling in love with a lady with only half her leg. I ain't gonna do the joke because I ain't gonna fuck the joke up. Right, you ain't gonna do the joke, but the niggas joke, be stealing. The joke hits so hard. So they gonna wanna hear it. After too. my show in Detroit, this lady came up to me and like she fit the exact shit that I was talking about in the joke. She said she had a car accident and she had to get her shit amputated from the knee down. And then she walked away normal as a mother, you know, normal as a motherfucker. Hmm. And I was like, how the fuck? It just didn't look like she would have a prosthetic leg. And oh, she, she had the prosthetic to, leg. Yeah, she showed it to me, but it didn't like, she ain't had like no look. No but look, it don't think, nothing. it don't it think, it don't come to your mind more. when you see people with pants on, you be like, bro, right. is, that, is that that bitch legs, bro? But I'm the type of motherfucker where it's like, nigga, I have, I know, <laughs> like, I know, I have my own personal line. Right. There's certain shit that I'm just never gonna make fun of. Right. I make fun of some shit, but I never try to make a motherfucker feel bad. Right, right. See, that you ain't, ain't the TC. That ain't nigga, comedy to nigga me. Nigga don't understand. I have a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. I just find everything funny. Right. That don't mean that I am making fun of. It. I, that's first what, of all, that's one thing I love about you as a I'll, performer. Because you'll never try to make a motherfucker feel bad. I don't want you to feel bad. I want, I want you, you, to, I want you to laugh at your shit. You feel? I want you to laugh at what you think is wrong with you so you can feel better about yourself. Right. I'm not that nigga that's going to sit. First of all, I'm going to be your friend. Right. That's how I was in school, nigga. I'm not going to. I don't roast. Be going up at nobody and just roast you. I think I'm always on defense, nigga. I'd rather go to school and don't say nothing. Don't roast. Please don't roast me. Please. please. But I think that's one of the biggest responsibilities we have with the gift that we have. It's like we gifted with saying shit. Right. And we know how to provoke emotion. Right, right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. It's like you do a joke, you know, everything is not just lag. You have to set some shit up to get people emotionally involved mm -hmm. so it can still be funny and keep the shit going. Right. So it's just like I feel like if you use that shit to try to make the be little people. And make motherfuckers that, that feel. That shit lame as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Smart. I think that's lame as fuck too. That shit lame as fuck, and it's feel like you, you can't come up with no creative content. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's like when you went. That's just like I remember one time I had a like I got a cripple joke. Shit, I got about three, four of them motherfuckers that can scratch for like nine minutes. That a motherfucker would feel like damn, but like no, it's right. funny because I'm not picking on somebody. This see, is this is, this is personal that relationship that I have. That's what I'm saying. Where the shit come from? They don't right. know who you've been around that might have. That might be your your cousin in the wheelchair favorite joke. Mm -hmm. Hey, cuz, do the joke you do by me, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like people have certain attachments to certain shit, and they you, they need to understand that comedians. A lot of comedians don't just get on stage and make up shit. They come from a real place. People that shit, have that shit be coming from pain, bro. We be right. laughing at pain. Like I, I got a uh, a cripple joke, and then you know somebody said somebody cripple joke, and I was like, okay, well let me step in since you think I'm unaware or un I have uh, I'm unknowledgeable about the fact. Well, what I was talking about, okay, first off, my uncle was, uh, had a, uh, what you call it, uh, the mental illness. He had a uh, mental illness. What you call it? Like schizophrenia? Not something. schizophrenia, the other word. Huh? He had a learning disability, but what's the word for when they are actually slow? Mentally retarded. No, nah, don't say that. Them, 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 hell no. Okay. Out of all words, that ain't the word. What? Them nigga would flip up out your ass on right. that. Uh, he just mentally challenged. Mentally challenged. That's what it is. It's mentally challenged, but he was born like that mm -hmm. and shot to live for like 64 years. So I seen my uncle literally can't talk. Literally like, hmm. My grandma fed him, man. She told him when he was hungry. Told him when he had the bag. Grown that man. Okay, my uncle paralyzed from the neck down. Can't move. But he'll sit there and kick your ass on matters. He'll whoop your ass. He will whoop your ass, my nigga. Straight up, 
real gangsters still to this day don't matter what's going on and still got the respect as if he was walking. It's just the fact that he make niggas appreciate life and you right. see that, you be like, damn, bro, motherfucker who pair life on the net down still can wake up and be thankful for life and I'm walking, I can definitely be thankful for life. You dig what I'm saying? So then I got a, a little cousin who's like 22. Same thing, born mentally challenged. Who I got the joke when I was like, he was talking to my uh my my my, my auntie uncle because he he a fuck nigga like yeah. but cause crazy hell, bro. You feel me? So I'm like, I grew up with that shit, beautiful. So it was like I had to tell her like, listen, you talking, you you preaching to the choir, baby. Hey, you remember the joke I did at one of the shows? I was I got a little cousin who got slow. Mm -hmm. And I. My auntie was playing with him. And you know how people be playing like, what? Right. Bro, sit your little ugly self. That's what she was saying, right? But right. she hurt the feelings. So oh. and she ain't know, cause he right. just, you know, he just sitting on the on the couch. He was mad. So we sitting around, he wasn't saying nothing. So my auntie had a little program she was going to at the church. So she come in the house and go back and get ready. And mm -hmm. she put her church wig on, like my older auntie. Mm -hmm. like, so she come out, he just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> What you laughing at? He said, cause now you ugly like me, bro. That was some of the Went crazy. Shit. Went crazy on the yeah. ass. Yeah. That's see. one of the like that's one of the type of comedy and shit that I get come from. Hey, but I, I ain't gonna lie, one time my uncle scared the shit at me one time, bro. He got that little rocket chair, right? So he's sitting in his little rocket chair, bro. So I'm coming in, and you know how when you young, you observant. Okay, I'm like six. So at this time, they're not gonna tell you about what's going on in the family. You just have to, you a child. You just have to figure it out. You feel me? So I'm like, how come every time I ask Uncle, they don't say nothing? You feel me? So he's just so having to hit rocket chair, and I was just walking in the living room, and I was just looking at Uncle. You feel me? I was just like, trying to figure out. But that nigga got up, and he was, he said, get the fuck out my face. But he didn't say it like that. He was like, <clears throat> <That's> <clears throat> I was like, you want me to get the fuck out your face, but don't that You want me to get the fuck out. This shit's so crazy. You bring what? Up, hey, bringing up family, I just feel like this is the perfect time to say this, because like, I be telling people about Uncle Punk, my gay uncle, right? Oh, shit. So look, the nigga You got to tell that story. This nigga that sent me a Facebook message. I just figured out not too long ago how you get your <laughs> Facebook funny, messages, yeah. right? <laughs> this nigga is so gay to me. <laughs> <laughs> Cause even when I read his message, I just read the, the message was gay. <laughs> the, the message said, "You need to call me when you get a chance, please." And that's exactly how it read. Like, it was, I don't know what he did, but when I when I read the message, I couldn't even read it as myself. The message said, "You need to call me when you get a chance, please." <laughs> did you call him? Hell no, I didn't call him. <laughs> You got to call him, bro. You just call me and get a chance. Please. You got to call him. I'm not calling that He's nigga. He's going to see you another message like, did you get my message? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. He's going to be like, nephew. <laughs> nephew. He's going to use three W. Nephew. After two nephews, <laughs> it's going to turn back into <laughs> bitch. Like, the fuck? <laughs> That is hilarious, you do bro. I want that nigga angry with you. That's hey, hilarious. man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Ah! Ah, that's hilarious. It's your man watching. That's, your that's, that's, that's Whose side is on? My dad and that. That's hilarious. Hold up. That's your daddy, brother. Yo. Ah! Your dad a cool ass nigga, bro. Hey, man. How he, how he feel about it? He just, he don't care. Man, my dad is the funniest nigga <laughs> on accident, bro. <laughs> My dad Your dad is an older version. He an older you, bro. I don't even know if that's this shit is appropriate to say, man. My don't daddy get it, on that don't liquor, it, man. Don't hey, it. my daddy said. Don't say it. 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 Hey, you stole my lighter. I did. Get it back. Oh, that bitch come. That bitch. <laughs> hey. Hey, this is how funny my daddy is, though, bro. My daddy get on the liquor. Okay, boy, I got three shit. letters. My daddy say. Man, I don't know what the fuck wrong with my brother, man. That nigga be up there, man, with all them punks, man. They just be playing cards and shit, man. What type of man want to hang around a bunch of men, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, that, you in denial, my nigga. That nigga got a husband somewhere. I'm like, boy, you stupid, bro. my dad be having me crying laughing. He talking about, call me, please. Look, you need to call me when you go to town. Did you call them though, bro? Nigga. You need to go ahead and get that over with, bro. Yeah, Cause you don't want to keep hearing, nephew. 
That three W's, bro. Listen, you could use one. Three W's. Nephew. Nephew. I seen that 85 South Show. Y'all so crazy. Nephew. <laughs> you know what I'm going to hit them back and say. What? Nigga, win. You win. Hey, man, that's one of the funniest shit. Bro, I like when the crowd allow us to draw that creativity. I think that's some of the best shit because we be having some of the. First of all, I always got to say our fans got to be some of the realest first, niggas. First of all. First off, I don't give a f- I ain't nobody fan base better than 85 South Show fans. You know what I think it is? Oh, this is my fuck. theory. These niggas really love us. These are not people who like us. Right. These are the niggas who love us. They really think we some, they can, bro. Like, hey, who that is? It's a train outside. Huh? There ain't nobody. There ain't nobody. Y'all you tripping, old school. Yeah. Put that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> Old school, you tripping? Well, that, that bitch got to be open, okay? Yeah, well, open it got to be a quick, quick reach. What's happening? Quick reach, quick reach. What you? Get right. Yeah. I'm about to get me a new handgun, cause my handgun just like my dick. It's too goddamn big. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> my name is Carlos Miller. I'm a comedian, bitch. Oh, <laughs> don't ever forget that I'm still a comedian. <laughs> Now, speaking of which, <laughs> let me look at some of the shit that's been going on in the world. Bought, I just bought five Much of. love to the 85 South Show Research Department. Uh, yeah. We, we got, got a research whole, department? Think we got a research department. They done broke this shit up in segments. What they got? Sports. See what's going on Nigga ain't got shit. Nigga ain't got nothing going on. Coronavirus Niggas at home typing. <laughs> Making PowerPoints. One, enter. Get your okay. stupid ass on. All right, first of all, before we get into all of this, we got to say this during this episode. We would like to give a special dedication to our friend, Miss Minnie. Both dead. That we lost in the tragic accident. We would like to send some love and condolences to the family. She was a part of the 85 South Show family. She's a big fan, and she showed us much love. Even invited us to be on her show, Little Women of Atlanta. Man, let's you know, just have a moment, just silence. Rest in peace, Miss Minnie. Most definitely. Most definitely. Okay. This is, I'm, I'm going to skip that one because that would just be the craziest transition to say right after that. Right, right, right. The president did, t- did tell everybody to, you know, drink bleach and inject themselves <laughs> with disinfectant. <laughs> Shout out to be saying shit to see if niggas going to do it, bro. You know what I thought about? Well, I didn't think we just clean off if we just drink a little bleach, right? Drink, drink, drink a little bleach, right? And you know what I think is fucked up? Is people actually need to be told not to do that. I feel like nigga looked at the bleach can like <laughs> not a nigga. White people did. That. White people don't never say nigga. See if you. Say I ain't mean. I said the white niggas. No, mm. you say the trailer parks. White niggas. They looked at the. They looked at the clo out like. You well, that's a goddamn good idea. <laughs> you you really you think it's gonna clean that corona? Well, I really think it'll get it up out of there. That right? Hey, Mimo. Hell, it couldn't hurt. They say Lysol kills 99.9% of the coronavirus. I can huff a little bit of that and I'll be ready to go right. work tomorrow. So they, so they, they been had the cure to AIDS, man. Well, you know, if, you, if people start digesting all these products. No, right. that's the, the, let's not even open up our audience to that because somebody's going to hear that and it's going to be like, you know what? I was going to drink that bleach. No, nah, you should have. <laughs> oh, but, but get what, though? No. Them white folk be, be doing inhalers and shit, bro. But this is what I got to say. They be like, them, the uh, add cartridge to the uh, the uh, paintball gun, right. they pop them bitches in. And I be like, bro. See, this is one thing that the coronavirus quarantine has taught me, though, is to never overestimate the intelligence of another person. You cannot do that. Somebody out there is dumber than you think they are, and they have to be told. Do not put harmful chemicals into your body. A motherfucker had to be told, don't drink no bleach. I right, fuck it, drink it. No, nah, because it's a motherfucker. Drink the goddamn, no, nah, we finna watch this stupid mother. Drink it then. <laughs> Man, I man, drink the bleach, bro. The views and opinions reflected by DC Young Fly are the views. Man, I got no time for that stupid ass Young shit, Fly. man. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, let me tell you something. Ain't nobody so got time. Up, and I know for a fact it's a motherfucker who get up every day and swallow some toothpaste and not even knowing that it's poison. They stupid. Dumbass. Uh, speaking of dumbass, what happened? What happened? Stupid. What happened now? Uh, shit. What? Speaking of stupid Two-faced ass, dumb ass with, yeah, you don't swallow that shit. Now you gonna be in the motherfucking ER for real. Why the fuck are we brushing our teeth with it if it pours? If you look at the motherfucking toothpaste, that shit said does do not swallow. I know because it if swallowed, contact your local poison control center with the goddamn skull and bones. <laughs> you was dead, man. For real? Yeah. And that why because like that little ending part when you be brushing yeah. your tongue, you like ah, that shit go down your throat. You be like. 
<laughs> right. Uh, Damn, what that is? Speaking of crazy shit, oh, Atlanta reopens some non-essential businesses and, um, bro. I don't even know what the fuck essential is. Bro. Nigga, I don't that know. That means shit that you need. <laughs> That's everything, nigga. You need everybody everything. open. You need everything you want. <laughs> everything will open. Kribbe cream, a bird king. Everybody been open since the coronavirus. Nigga, everybody Popeye's essential. Been open the whole time. The whole time. Essential. But it's, it's you know it's niggas work at Popeyes, so they really just standing outside hollering at people. Hey, bro, we open for women. <laughs> They, rap, they flagging people in, bro. I'm going to tell you, the business thought they were closed, but they were still open. They pocket that money. Oh, f- fuck, fuck that. I just <laughs> said Popeyes. But we pocket all that bread. But we open it up tomorrow, selling all that chicken. Bro, you know churches fuck with us. They watched the whole last episode, was on Twitter talking shit. What they say? They ain't tweeting, Nick. Nah, they did. You don't be replying. They ain't say, churches ain't say DC on fly about no chicken. What, what they say? Churches let said, me see. Let me that see. churches said, okay, DC, we see you with the two piece. Man, stack. let me see. Go man. on now. I'm going to send it to you. Let me see, man. It's in my verified shit. Let me shit, see, man. boy, churches, boy, churches chicken tweeted me. Churches chicken. Boy, boy, that's like a hood Oscar. They did. I'm like, nigga, for you. Huh? They made a meme. They made a meme. Let me see my nigga. Oh, Joe got it on dick. That's what they did. What they say? Oh, they did. Yeah. Hold up. Nah, but what they say, though? Hold up. They say, the show, I appreciate for all the love you showed up. You better come with you. Oh, you don't let me do it. Oh, my God. You better come to give it up. Yeah, shut up. OK, what do we see? I went to their page. Hey, they posted a white boy. White people don't eat church chicken. What me? They lied to us, Joe. No, they gonna do it. <laughs> oh, they gonna do it. Yeah, they just oh, 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 okay. Oh, they just show that to you to confirm what you Okay, my boy. Oh, okay, say no more. Eee. Oh, they, ooh, the gift. Eee, eee. <laughs> Yo, tell them I need a hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Feed a nigga church, I put some money in y'all pocket. Put a little money in my pocket, you know what I'm saying? I'll do another. Eat, eat. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Church's Chicken, that's all I was getting at. They gonna um, swear a nigga sold his soul. They gonna be like, that nigga that did a church commercial, you know what I'm <laughs> like, God damn, my nigga. They can't do no, no motherfucking commercial for Church's Chicken. <laughs> Come on, man. Two Chains opens up Escobar and Tapas Lounge in Casselberry Hill to feed the homeless. Right. Shout out to Titty. Huh? Shout out to Titty. Hey, you people always call him Two Chains, but he said this in one of his songs, and I really think this is what he should have changed his name to. Well, when that nigga said his name was Titty Two Necklace, I feel like that could be the coldest moniker in history. Man. Titty Two Necklace? Titty Two Necklace. I hate that I ain't think of that shit first. That's crazy. They call me Titty Two Necklace, and every time I see him, I call that nigga Titty Two Necklace. Shout out that nigga album cover was him peeing in the stall, and it was True University. Right. One of the coldest albums ever. I got locked up listening to that shit. Hey man, that nigga, he used to always say some shit that'll just leave you in suspense, but you wow. can't all the time. Yay. That nigga said she dark skin, her friend light skin. You put us together, then it's ice cream sandwiches. He said ice cream sandwiches. This nigga said that. <laughs> Fuck with Titty Two All niggas. I want for my birthday is some <laughs> big booty hoe. Yay! That was that nigga ad lib. Yay! <laughs> All I want for my birthday is, is a and then nigga had the <laughs> he had the bird in the back. <laughs> Yay! Man, where I roll past twelve, listen to that shit like this. <clears throat> You ask me what I do and who I do it for. Yeah. Oh, nigga, I do it for what? <laughs> me, I thought that was my song, man. All I heard was, whoop, whoop. You stupid as hell. Yeah, right. That nigga in the back. Yeah, right. I'm like, cut this shit down, man. You tripping. <laughs> hey, man. We lost our first hip hop. Um, <laughs> hip hop community took its first loss during the coronavirus epidemic. We lost Fred, the guy. Oh, yeah, man. R.I.P., man. Coronavirus. R.I.P., man. People don't be understanding how serious the corona shit is until yeah, come around and affect somebody you know, man. You feel me? Speaking of which, uh, hip hop legend Scarface right. is extremely sick right is now. Is he? But look, he's extremely sick off of yeah. steel? Yeah, he's been. Damn, he been fighting that shit for a minute. Slim Thug beat that shit. He beat it, man. <clears throat> I know it, man. I'm saying my prayers for my OG. There's so much bad news, man. Let's report on some good shit. I'm telling uh, you. Kanye West is officially 
Listen, I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I talk shit. But I give credit when he do. That one thing about me, I don't like when nigga that talk shit. You and then when a nigga do some shit, good. They there, like they don't never see that shit. You right. feel me? No, right. man, you got to let. Hey, but let me tell you something. I might talk shit about your clothes, right. about how homeless it look, homeless like a right. motherfucker. But nigga, you make stupid cash. So fuck what I'm talking about. Jay Z said it best. And second of all, can't what he said? No, you can't knock the hustle. And nigga, you a billionaire? A whole billion. Now. Oh, and Especially then, fuck what I'm talking about. Salute. And the old Keep Kanye creeping back clothes. up. That kid, you see the old Kanye creep out sometimes. Uh -huh. That nigga came out and said, I'm not, I don't have no one billion. Bitch, I got three. That was a, that was a black history moment, and I hope somebody documented the date and time so we could put that officially. Well, you know how much uh, money that is, boy. On the book. What? What? I'ma buy, I'm hey, a, I'm a buy a world Whatever with three billion. Did. He better keep doing that shit. And now he got to start all over. Mm -mm. You remember when the nigga had the concerts and he used to just go out and just talk for 30 minutes, go 40 minutes an hour? He be tripping. You know, but then nobody know what the fuck he was mad about. Then nobody give a fuck. But that shit made niggas live better. Mm -hmm. And nigga, and nigga, and nigga appreciate it. Nigga be like, bro, he going to do it like a spoken word and then he going to perform. Right. I used to love when the nigga used to get mad and then just in the middle, he'll just stop the song and be like, somebody tell Jay-Z to call me. <laughs> Hey, bro. We I need to talk to this hey. little brother, man. <laughs> Somebody tell Jay Z to call me, man. But do you know how busy? I got this music, man. Do you know how busy you got to be for you to? Own, that's the only way you got to get into it. Uh, you know, in contact with a nigga. Like, bro, I got to do this just to get in contact with this nigga. But you know the crazy part? He's so is busy. Somebody <laughs> at the venue could have got in touch with that nigga tonight. He probably was, now that I know what I know and I think that I know some shit, this probably was a Rock Nation tour. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. He set it up. Right? He set it up. The niggas that he know is The like, crazy part about it, he Somebody had talked to Jay-Z that day. The crazy part about it, he was telling somebody in the back to tell him to call him. Right, like, it was. And it had to do with call us. Me. <laughs> he was talking to he his knew, assistant. He knew exactly who he was talking to. Like, he talking to me. What's going on? Kanye lost his mind. No, he's not. He's talking to me. He's talking to his he's assistant. Talking to me. Mid concert. He's talking to me. I got all this music for this new album. Speaking Alicia. Oh, Diddy made the headlines. What'd he say? He told everybody don't vote Democrat no more. He tired of this shit. Black voting's not going to be for free. We're going to have to see some promises. You know, what are we getting in return for our vote? Nothing has changed for black America. And in order for us to vote for Biden, we can't be taken for granted like we always are because we're supposed to be Democrats or because people are afraid of Trump. It's whoever's going to take care of our community, whoever wants to make a deal, it's, it's, it's business at this point. You know, we can't trust politicians, you know, so we want to know very clearly, just like Trump made it clear that he wanted to build the wall, Biden needs to make it clear that he's going to change the lives and quality of life of black and brown people, or else he can't get the vote. I will hold the vote hostage if I have to. You said it here, you said it first. Breaking first, news. Breaking, breaking news. news. Who the fuck we going? What, what we going? What we going? <laughs> that's what niggas, that's what niggas' the whole argument was. What, what we, we going to do? We damn sure can't put no libertarian in that Come motherfucker. On, man. Who we going to vote Hey, for? have you ever looked at the libertarian? They just be over there like, please look at me. I'm running for president. They be hey. like, man, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Hey, it's always the people who don't have no chance at winning who be trying to offer the best shit. Well, what's your platform? Man, I'm trying to get recycling back popular, but I'm going to get everybody dick sucked <laughs> twice a week. Hey, man, what did I sign up? <laughs> you got my vote. This is the dude trying to get everybody dick sucked. You ain't heard of him. He's from Iowa. Hey, bro. <laughs> His name Jim Rose. Vote for Jim. Hey, bro, I'm not going to say it ain't going to ever happen. One day, a libertarian go win, and he gonna be like, I'm just playing. <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all know y'all up on pit me, man. What the fuck wrong with y'all? I'm a libertarian, man. What the fuck are they? They All don't right. really, they like in the middle. They like, we're not going for Democrat or we're not going for Republican. What is a libertarian? Who would you think, like, if you had, nobody had no libertarian like if you had to pick the next white president, I'm gonna Google it. Who would you pick? The next white president. It's that motherfucker gonna be Fuck white. Fuck that. I wanna be black. Come on, man. If he's gonna be on. white, if he's gonna be white, Hillary. Don't nobody like Hillary. I fuck with Hillary. I like a boss bitch that, that talk shit. <laughs> that like to hide shit. Send her a dick pic. She'll lie about it. He ain't send me no dick pic. <laughs> 
She'll break the whole computer. Damn, it's wrong with, ain't no dick pic on that. <laughs> you be like, I've got the vote for this bitch. She got to get another four years. That bitch is going, she is a rider. She fuck, bro. Bill Clinton got his dick sucked and she still was there. You better say you apologize. I would like to apologize about some things I done. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? The president got caught getting dicks up, bro. All right, first of all, we got to say this because it's like. Nick, I'm going with Hillary, Bill bro. Bill Clinton did what the fuck he did. Send me no damn dick pics. But he, it's certain shit that he didn't do. He did get some head. Let me tell you something. He got some head. He admitted it. After a while, he, did. he wasn't supposed to admit that shit right then. He a nigga to a certain aspects. Not saying. Fuck that. that. Keep like, lying until they catch him, Bill. Exactly. I'm saying they ain't even had no evidence yet. No, I ain't fuck that bitch. Get out my face. He did what he was supposed to do. Then when he had to tell the truth, he told the truth. But even after all of that, he still didn't fuck. Mm -mm. Got to keep lying. I'm going to tell you something. You got to lie so bad, even when they got proof of evidence, you got to still lie. Nigga, it's a videotape with you on it. I'm talking about you done lied all the way up until you seen the videotape. And they like, well, who is this? Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, look, 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 come here, come here, let me tell you, let me tell you, that ain't me, look, 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 look. When have I ever worn a gray sweater? <laughs> man, come on, get that shit out my goddamn face, man. I ain't never worn no damn gray sweater. Yeah, nigga still gonna deny this shit. Nigga gonna look right at the video. Man, here you go. What the fuck make you think that's me? What make you think that's me? Just cause the nigga got a hat on. And, you know what I mean? Niggas wear hats. But he won't put right he won't the camera. Man, I knew it was a setup. I'm just doing this shit. First of all, who recorded it? How did he get caught? How did he get caught? Man, the bitch kept the dress with the nut on it. They, you, it's hard to deny your own nut. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. They got the dress. Flag on, on the play. Bro, they, you didn't know this? You were old enough to know this. Flag on the play, man. Nigga, she kept the dress with the nut on it. She had the dress at the house. See, that's, that's the, you know what? That was the prop. No, 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 no. Cause when he bust the nut, she tried to pull out. No, she was giving head head. It was a whole bunch of spit in it. <laughs> she was really giving oh, she head. Went, she went crazy. Yeah. Even the after effect was crazy. You like, die. Yeah. <laughs> he done bust die. everywhere. This bitch keep going. Die. He done bust all over this what? bitch. But she didn't even wipe the dress off. So the bitch she took the dress the and went to it dry. Nut. Yeah. It was like, I got him. They got the dress at the lab. They scraping, they scraping nut flakes off. They know exactly who nut this Shit, is. You can't look, deny just that. like Frosty Flakes. Damn. Hold up. <laughs> she look like dandruff. <laughs> dry, dry, dry. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. This bitch kept so when the, the shit hit the fan, they was like, we need, we need evidence. And she was like, well, I got a dress. She, nah, <laughs> she, told, she told somebody who told. She was telling another motherfucker who told. She was telling another motherfucker who, who snitched on her. Right. So she was like, girl, guess who? What happened? I, she guess. told him. She thought she had a work friend. Oh, she tried to yeah. get it and tried to vent, and the friend went and... The bitch recorded the shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But how you get recorded on for conversation? Dude, this is easy. These are the people who can hit a button on the phone and record. With the, this is, you know, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's not secure. But that's why you, you can't, you can't, this you can't trust a motherfucker. That's why you can't even say, like girl, I got something to tell you. Motherfucker might record all the girl I got something to tell you. you. Got thirty clips of girl I got something to tell you. Can't wait for you to go crazy. Oh, remember what you said on August thirtieth? Girl, I got something to tell you. Oh, bitch, I got tapes. What? Niggas, that's why I don't say shit. That's why I don't talk on the phone. Mm. I got to see you in person. I don't even like talking in person. I, people, if you call me, my, I, my conversation be so quick. They be like, "Hey, fly." I be like, uh -huh. "Yo." Yo, yeah, see, we didn't talk about some shit. Ain't got. This all started out talking about Diddy. You see how Diddy bring up all that shit? Nigga, I asked my phone all the way. Hello? Who you looking for? <laughs> if you looking for me, you'll see me in person. I'm scared, bro. You just got to be, be careful, man, people be nigga. tripping, bro. That's why I be telling niggas all the time. Every piece of pussy you get might be a trap. Right? Watch them. You got to watch that. We don't know who she was working for. Watch them. Or what? Got to watch them. You don't know what's going I on. I think that really... Monica Lewinsky don't get the credit that she deserves. Because if you think about it, she really was doing a service for her country. That a bitch who told her? She sucked the president in. Oh. <laughs> Do you know? 
what that meant. <clears throat> but still, you you no, like, I'm but you saying, nigga, you snitched too, cause you agreed that that what you said. The, the economy was doing well, <laughs> like everything was going great. That was Corona. That nigga was making changes and everything, cause he was getting his dick sucked at work. <laughs> You know how you can come to work mad and then get your dick sucked and be like, you know what? I was going to push the button on them fuck niggas, but I'm going to let them keep their little dust ass country. What? Nigga passing all the bills. What? The niggas want this. Let them have it. Give it to them. Whew. Give it. Let them out. Freedom guys. Shit. Clemency for all my niggas. That nigga was always in the office sitting back like this. Shit. You okay, Bill? Huh? I'm all right. I'm good. I don't give a fuck what nobody <laughs> say. Bill Clinton got his dick sucking at the White House. I know for a fact that nigga done sat in the over office with his feet crossed under that desk with his shoes off. I bet the shit, White what House time stink. is it, man? I know I'm the White House I'm gonna go clock out early, man. Ain't doing shit. America ain't got shit today. We can go and shut it down at 2 o'clock, man. White House stink. <laughs> White House stink. I, it's, it look like it stink, bro. Oh, uh, but this the other shit Diddy said. Diddy said he gonna hold the black vote hostage. You know how when niggas be so rich, they just be saying like crazy ass shit. He delusional. He really think the whole black community is behind him because he said it. But I mean, but he <laughs> niggas they gonna not vote. <laughs> <laughs> niggas they gonna not vote. Cause they don't vote. Niggas somebody got to run the country. You dig what I'm saying? But you can't tell black people not. To I would love to, for Diddy to try to stop an old black man, <laughs> sixty-one years old. <laughs> You gonna did it, Bobby? There, Willie Charles Jackson, right? <laughs> born and raised in Mobile, Alabama. Hey man, did it say we ain't vote? Bim, get that monkey ass nigga out of my face. <laughs> you think I'm not gonna vote because some clown ass nigga? You get the fuck off my arm. <laughs> I worked at the Adrian's Dairy for 38 years. <laughs> nigga couldn't even vote when I started. Fuck y'all. Ignorant motherfucker. <laughs> you stupid. You stupid. <laughs> you just goddamn. Ignorant and you stupid, <laughs> young motherfucker. Listen to anybody. Listen to your goddamn self. I vote for who the fuck I won't vote for. I can hear it now. That's it, nigga. Talk about that for weeks. Go on there and vote for the wrong person. Vote for the libertarian. You don't so kiss stupid. my motherfucking ass, woodpecker style. Come out. Don't vote. Fuck you. I'm kiss tell my you, ass with your tongue out. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Now take that. The most, the most <laughs> memorable shit. I voted for Barack when I wasn't supposed to. Come on now. Never forget, nigga. Yep. No, I took my dad up to, to vote because you know my dad was old. Dude, I'll admit, never forget this bro, shit. Don't admit no shit like Man, that. Man, that nigga did hit eight. He served his time. My boy, ah, you did. You uh, ain't served yours yet. Over with. Man. Bro, what you mean? That shit illegal. I ain't do nothing illegal. I ain't told you the story yet. You just told me what you, you ain't, did. I ain't already. told you. Okay, go ahead. You did. Let me tell you what happened. I tried to tell him don't I, do it. I told you the moment. Let me tell you what happened. Nigga, voter fraud is illegal, and I do not encourage this. I'm telling you. This story. Fuck that. Okay. I took my daddy up you to the motherfucker. You think these motherfuckers go take your 420 post down? Wait till what? they hear this shit. This yeah. illegal? Yes, very much so. Nigga, I took my daddy. Bro, you can no. take your elderly parents to the vote. They not, they not going to tell you not to go in there do with your, your thing. elderly parents. Do your thing. You can't, you can't tell niggas nothing. All right, I'm gonna listen to your old ass. No, I did. <laughs> listen to my old young ass nigga. Hey, my story great as fuck. <laughs> this is a great ass story. <laughs> I'll tell it to y'all on the street if y'all see me. They remind me, be like, hey, what yeah, about that story you were gonna tell? I'll tell it to you. <laughs> Niggas don't listen, man. <laughs> that shit crazy, man. Cause they wouldn't allow me to go over there if it was illegal. Nope. Okay. I'm with my daddy. You think a motherfucker go ever stop? All right, go ahead. <laughs> you say vote or what? Fraud. Nigga voted fraud. Nigga. Voting on the false pretenses. Voting fraud. This is a the myth federal of crime. Fraud. Here we go. However, the extensive research reveals that fraud is very rare. Voting in person. I care about the a Michigan state senator from Monroe County is apologizing this evening for wearing a face mask that resembled the Confederate flag. He is Senator Dale Zorn from Ida. He says the whole thing was a mistake and a misunderstanding, but he says he still feels that time period should be taught in schools. I think even if it was a Confederate flag, you know, I, we should be talking about teaching 
our national history in, in schools. And that's part of our national history. And it's something we can't just throw away. Although I am pretty sure the Civil War is taught in most history classes, Zorn posted an apology on Twitter today. It reads in part, I'm sorry for my choice of pattern on the face mask that I wore yesterday on the Senate floor. I did not intend to offend anyone. However, I realized that I did, and for that I am sorry. The nigga had a man's made out of a Confederate flag. He tried to act like he didn't know. What? And then they had the other white lady mayor in Texas who told everybody to stay at the house. And then the bitch went and got her nails done. <laughs> Y'all stay at the crib up. so I can be out here fucking around. <laughs> that bitch feet fucked up. Yeah, ugly feet. Damn, OG. All right, uh, basketball fans in the room, have anybody been watching the Last Dance series for the uh, Bulls? Hell no, nah. I ain't see that shit. You ain't been watching it? Man, the Michael Jordan shit? I been, I been work. By halftime, my feet are bleeding. But I'm having a good game. I don't want to take them off. Michael. Oh, my goodness. A number of the players and even... Hey, man. This shit is amazing. And it's, it really gave me some perspective on this shit that I grew up on. Who would, If we would have known that the Bulls was not fucking Pistons <laughs> at no. the same time, I'm thinking this is what, you know what I'm saying? We looked up to these, I didn't know these niggas was winning all these games and bringing hoes back and cocaine and shit. Yeah. That's the part that stands out to me that nobody is speaking on. The cocaine part. You mean to tell me niggas was just playing 82 games a season in the rough NBA era and doing cocaine at the same time? That's, that is a lot of activity. But if you think about it, cocaine and athletics always been around. hand in hand. You, dang, you, what? All that energy? Cocaine and athletes? Come on, bro. Niggas be built at. Right. Eight ball. Corner pocket. Look. Sports just haven't <laughs> been the same since they took the steroids and shit out. And Michael Jordan is the nigga that everybody thought he was, too. This nigga is still mad at Isaiah Thomas for not shaking his No! Head. That nigga mad right now. For what? Because when the Bulls beat the Pistons, they walked off the court and they didn't shake their hand. Michael Jordan's still mad about that shit today. Damn. And, and the like, and the nah, nigga, you beat me, I shake your hand, I beat you, you fuck me. Mate, Michael Jordan is that nigga. Damn, he want that respect. And you know another thing that stood out, bro, that man, Scotty Pippen did all that goddamn work for $2 million. Hold up, what happened? Bro, Scotty Pippen was, the, he was one of the most underpaid players in the NBA for the longest time. So who was getting the money? Jordan, Jordan was making goddamn $35 million a season. Hold up, so he- The next nigga on the team wasn't making, but like four or six, what was the next nigga making? Scotty Pippen been signed the longest goddamn contract. So them niggas that buy one house and have to goddamn wait on another season. Dennis Rodman was 4.6 million. Yeah. Dennis Rodman went four? Yeah. Jordan was 33, Rodman was <laughs> You see what I'm saying? This nigga was making- laugh at them niggas. This nigga was making goddamn- I <laughs> 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 you laugh when you get in like, Quadruple more than the next nigga. <laughs> nigga. Now think about how great Michael Jordan was. This nigga making $30 million a season. Shut up. The nigga who you would think would be the number two nigga on the team, Scotty Pippen. This nigga making 1.2. Nigga do what the fuck he wanna do. Shut up. Shit. You're making 8.3. <laughs> now, Wait, make some six? niggas was passing Jordan the ball just out of spite. Damn. I know it. Get that nigga the ball. He making all the goddamn money. Let him shoot that motherfucker. She ain't doing shit. Now I know why niggas was at the end of the bench celebrating. Man, this nigga making all this glass from the free throw lane. Nigga fucking better for 30 million dollars. He better jump out there and pull a uh, rocket out his ass. I'm giving that nigga the ball every time. Nigga, what? He gonna have to inbound it to himself. Nigga. You better go out of bounds and get that ball. That's why Michael Jordan was looking at niggas crazy when they was like, pass, pass nigga, pass. I'm not passing it to you, nigga. He don't even make enough money to touch this ball. I bet he told somebody that. I know he told somebody that. Man, he told a nigga behind I know he told You ain't heard of Michael Jordan. You better get on YouTube. Man. <laughs> and bust a fade on his ass. He said, you better get on YouTube. 
But you know what? Watching that shit and just that. knowing that these is niggas who really they were really niggas at the end of the day. Damn, man. I want to have a come. I be want to have a conversation with the greats like that. I, it's on a couple niggas I want to have a conversation with. But I want to have a conversation with Rock. I want to have a conversation with Denzel. I want to have a conversation with Michael Jackson. And goddamn, shit. It's oh, I wish I could have a conversation with Bernie Mac. Oh yeah. Man, I call that nigga every time I felt like doing. Oh, man, what? No, TC, don't, 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 don't. But who the fuck you? But bring that ass here. I'm like, hey, no, up. And all I want to hear, man. Hey, I'm leading a nigga along, man. Better up, better up. That's crazy. Oh, another part of that Michael Jordan shit. There was a part in there that said Michael Jordan had to go to Las Vegas during the season and go get Dennis Rodman and bring him back. Dennis Rodman <laughs> said he needed a break. <laughs> the nigga went to Vegas, did some coke, got some hoes, and spent some money. But you know Jordan how deep went, you got, got to be the leading squad and go to a whole other state and just be at the casino? No, you got to play a basketball game. And hey, you at the casino, yeah, let me, uh, let me get 400 chips. <laughs> What? You know you got a big ass nose ring. Man. But you, do you understand, nigga, it's Michael Jordan. Even a nigga wild as Dennis Rodman, nigga. When Michael Jordan show up, you be like, okay, okay, party over, party over, party hey. over. Hey. Everybody get these hoes hey, out how you think of Michael, oh, I, Michael how you think of Michael Jordan, hey. you think of Space Jam. <laughs> nigga, Dennis Rodman talk like a fucking cartoon character. Like, a, <laughs> like that nigga, like he talk like, his voice sound like Halloween. I told everybody to get out of the room. Michael Jordan is coming in the room. The party is over. We got, we got a game tomorrow. We got to be in Phoenix. In Phoenix. I'm going to drive my motorcycle down there. My, my, me, me, Michael Jordan, Scotty. It's just going to be us. It's, it's, it's the bad boys. It's all over again. I told Mike I'm about to get my shit together. Let me get a little bit more pussy. I'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm tired. I just need to come out here. I want to drink some water. <laughs> Just watching that whole little, I'm, I mean, I'm watching all of it, but that, that shit just reminded me of that clip when Kobe Bryant was at practice one day and he just told them niggas, he was like, well, practice, nigga, you niggas need to practice. This shit don't make me better. This shit for y'all. <laughs> you niggas need to practice. Y'all the ones who ain't shit. I'm going to miss that coach, nigga, though, man. bro. Go miss that nigga. I'm coach, man. R.I.P., man. Somebody paid 800000 for a date with Tom Brady. Eight who? Some somebody paid eight hundred thousand dollars for a date with Tom Brady. They just it just says someone. They don't specify if it was a woman or a man. Uh, 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 somebody paid. They be fucked up. You Tom crazy. Brady and you you do some shit like this for a charity or something. You think you going on a date? And then crazy. you get there, it's just a nigga who want to talk about football. <laughs> It's a, it's a dude, a dude on a car dealership in North Carolina. Hey, Tom, I'm your biggest fan, man. I just, whatever <laughs> Niggas what just sitting there, they're like. Uh, it comes with uh, tickets to the game, the jersey, cleats, and a post-game dinner or workout. This nigga out here on Offer Up. What the fuck? This nigga got sold on Offer Up for $800. <laughs> That's Tom. With two tickets. Clearly, Tom Brady. This nigga on Craigslist. He it, it gotta be. Doing he out there prostitute. His agent signed. This nigga don't went to Florida. Lost his mind. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. They don't went to Florida to turn my boy. Out. That's the cover. They got there selling. That nigga is a prostitute. <laughs> nigga went on a date for eight hundred thousand and two tickets to the Buccaneers game. <laughs> Come on, in a workout. Get the fuck out of here. We moving on. They ain't never do that with the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Ball Brothers have signed to Rock Nation Sports. Who? Oh, the Ball Brothers. Ball brothers. Lonzo, Funzo, and Gunzo. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, who? That's, that's not their name. <laughs> Lonzo Ball, Jamelo Ball. That nigga named who, Jello, who, Jamelo. Uh, who, who they? Who they signed to? And they little brother. What's the little one? The little brother name. Lamello, All three on? Lamello, Jello, and Lonzo. <laughs> <laughs> they daddy talking big. They daddy signed the Rock Nation too. That's what they won't take. Oh, they all signed the Rock Nation. They signed my boys that you signed their daddy. You get that? <laughs> <laughs> LaVar. You got to sign LaVar, baby. I'm telling you. You can't, sign my, can't have my boys unless you got their daddy. I'm telling you, my boys, 
are the next LeBron. Matter of fact, LeBron going to quit when you see the ball, brothers. I'm telling you, baby, they're going back to the Clippers. He could have been, been a next, he could have been the next like sports analyst if he ain't I wonder how said. much money they gave that nigga for him to sit the fuck down. Because I know Man, they like a motherfucker to talk shit and don't agree with everybody. Listen, he didn't man. do it for free. That nigga, you ain't heard from that nigga in two, oh, three years. He sat down, they probably like, man, huh? He got 10 million years. So you want me to shut the fuck up? Gotta pay me. The same motherfucker who gave Tom Brady eight hundred thousand. What nigga Tom went out there prostitute? Jerry Jones is officially tired of losing. Uh, Cowboys owner did the draft by his goddamn self and told everybody to not interrupt him. What happened? And I think this may work because the nigga he drafted sounds like the nigga of all niggas. This nigga <laughs> name is C D Lamb. C D. What happened? C, two E's, D, two E's, <laughs> CD, Lamb. He signed a nigga named CD Lamb? That was the uh, wide receiver, first motherfucker they picked. Damn. Yep. Draymond Green comes out and says, Charles Barkley is a hater and he's not ignoring it no more. Just saying, <laughs> fuck it. See one thing about Lance, one thing. See, I like Lance, but is he? See, uh, uh. See one thing about Draymond, he just like to kick people in the nuts. That's it. That's it. That's it. He's not a great basketball player. He's not none of. He'll never be me. He'll never be a Charles Barkley or uh or 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 just just somebody. You know, he he's not a great player. Right. He's aggressive, <laughs> but he's not a great player. I don't know, bro. It's something about Draymond Green, bro. I I don't know if it's because I know that nigga a real dark skinned nigga, but right. he and I know, I know Charles Barkley has, is not a nigga to play with in his heyday. Right. He was not that guy to play. This nigga flipped Shaq ass over. See one thing about Charles. See Charles Barkley was a great player who just ain't got no. I'm telling you, he ain't got that ring, bro. I'm gonna tell you this. He ain't got no ring. That shit salty for them old niggas who ain't got the rings. I'm just talking about this back and forth beef shit that right. they. Cause I, you know, I'm just Draymond a champion case. though, so he can't but really say it. Don't matter how old you is, nigga. Charles Barkley is a Alabama three. old school nigga. So, just saying. I got three championships. You can't say shit. I don't give a fuck what you did, Charles. I got three things That's that you wish you had. Right, right. That you know, bro. What? He got that over Charles Barkley. Yeah. That why Charles Barkley mm-hmm. forever. You know what? Fuck Draymond. Yeah, he yeah. gonna end up saying it. You know what? Fuck Draymond. I think that's the hating part. <laughs> you be like, damn, fuck him. Yeah, just fuck Draymond. Somebody got caught. Uh, one of the players got caught with smoke some weed or something. I don't know how. Right, nothing else going on. It ain't like like they playing basketball. Let them niggas smoke weed. Exactly. Shit, everybody else doing cocaine and powder. Jameis Winston going to the Saints for what? To back up Drew Brees. But Drew Brees is not getting hurt. That nigga's the goat. Even oh, though I'm an Atlanta Falcon all day, it's just Drew Brees. That nigga the goat, bro. People been asking us crazy. for some um, books to read during the coronavirus. Go get my little brother book uh, called Scars of Wisdom. It's out on Amazon. My okay. boy Lante Tyler. Oh, and then my uh, my boy uh, Fat Boy shit too. What is my it? boy Fat and Page shit? Your ass ain't gang. Go get that shit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pay because your ass can't read. I, yep. Go get that shit. shit that crazy. shit hard. You did. Uh, so books to read. I, I like how you threw the ass in that when we got to the book part. Oh yeah, Mo Dev. He coming um, out with a book too. Forty Eight Laws of Power by <laughs> Robert Greene. That's it. Always. That's a good one. That's a damn good one. Uh, the Banker's Code by George Antone. I haven't read this one. This was mm. thrown in the chat. I think. Hustle Numbers by my boy Ash Cash. Now that's a good one. That's a good one. He took a lot of uh, Nipsey mm-hmm. Hustle quotes mm-hmm. and uh, he he made Hustle Nomics like an actual book. For real? Yeah, I got it at the crib. I got to do that <clears> shit. And uh, check out Empire State of Mind by Zach O'Malley Greenberg. Who the hell are these niggas? Um, I mean, it's just some great books to start, uh, you know, to get into your entrepreneurial mindset. You know, death. if you want to start building your vocabulary and, you know, just start to be motivated. You know, to go out there and be a better nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Every time I look around, I see people be having wild as their buzz. You know what I'm saying? They spending two, three hundreds of dollars, then they lose them, and then still gonna spend two, three more hundred dollars on some more hit buzz. But guess what? We ain't giving back to the community. But I think it's time. You know why? <laughs> My boy Ray J got some wild as hit buzz. Raycon latest model, E25, it's the best one yet. It got six hours of playtime, Bluetooth pairing, more bass. 
a compact design that gets you a nice isolated fit. Mm -hmm. For those who know what that means. Uh, and guess how much they cost. You ain't gonna believe it. Nope, not 150. Mm -mm. Not a hundred dollars. No, sir, keep going down. No, not twenty dollars. No. Go back up with your cheap ass. The Eighty dollars. Yes, sir. You know what you can do? Get 15% off. How can you do that? By Raycon.com slash 85 South. I be reading on, uh, I be reading more spiritual books, bro. For real? You yeah. like self help? I like, I need like no mental books. You dig what I'm saying? More, you know, uh, you think, uh, think rich. You dig what I'm saying? You wanna God's children? You know those type of books. You know what I'm saying? I, I need to be guided more so. You know what I'm saying? Some other shit. You feel me? Over 200 comments, only one person declared winning. The hell you talking about? It looks like it. It looks, see, an unbiased opinion. It looks like Hezekiah Walker came and took it. Yeah. And that's just, I mean, if we got to go through 200 <laughs> comments to find the winner, that's what we'll fucking do. No. But see, then again, that's not definitive because that's just a matter of opinion. I know they were both working for the Lord. <laughs> I got I got to read up on it. See, I'm, 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 I'm really one of them niggas from the hood who's smart, but I didn't pay attention a lot. I paid attention, but I didn't pay attention to that. You know what I'm saying? Like certain shit you assume motherfucker would know. You be like, but a lot of people don't know. You dig what I'm saying? I know I'm hot because Marvin Gaye is looking at me like, man, look at this nigga here. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that, man? If you want your artwork featured in our wall of blackness, I'm going to tell Chad to release the P.O. box. We're going to start <coughs> putting shit on the wall of blackness, bro. This, that Martin Luther King shit, that's a cold ass picture, but they could have scooted Martin Luther King headline up, bro. <laughs> they didn't have to use that old picture of Martin Luther King. And if it's somebody who, I, I, who's skilled with the art, who can fill in Martin Luther, <laughs> Martin Luther King headline. That fucked up right there. I'll I pay you to fix that. I, we keeping the picture, but I do want somebody to fill in this headline. And just that ain't Barack bit. Obama finger. That's another one for a bitch nigga. Right. What? Look how, and they don't even got my boy Barack Crispin. We got to get that picture redrawn. That's a C. Craig, zoom in on that picture so somebody can know exactly what we need redone. I ain't know Barack had no mole. He do. He got the Tiffany Haddish mole. No. Yeah, he do. Hell yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, man, somebody give us some, fill that shit in with some more great black people too, man. I want you to, I need y'all to start putting goddamn Al Sharpton in there too. I ain't saying that he's a good person or nothing. I'm just saying he did a lot of shit. <laughs> and Al's still here too. He's still here. Get that man his flowers. Al's skinny as fuck. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be looking at Al like, bro. See, the community needs. Man, shut up. Oh. Hey, that nigga hilarious, man. Don't do Al Sharpton like that. He's still. I'm gonna tell you. The, I'm gonna tell you the most <laughs> profound shit I probably ever heard. What Al Sharpton say was at uh, Michael Jackson funeral. And I want his three children to know, wasn't nothing strange about your daddy. It was strange what your daddy had to deal with. But he dealt with it. talking to the kids. He said, nothing was strange about your daddy. It was just strange what he had to go through. I said, damn, that was deep. <laughs> I said, that's the deepest I ever heard that nigga Al say. I was like, that was deep, Al. That was a good one. I don't know. They, it's just that that nigga, he don't have the, I don't know. Some that was it. That's what I'm trying like to tell you. That was the most see, profound shit he ever like said. When you see when they bring up Al Sharpton <laughs> on the news, it's like, that's all white people know. <laughs> That's the only defense. They're like, what are you going to do? Send your boy Al Sharpton. Like, no, we got some more niggas. And he always be up there like, this message is going to be better than the last. Watch. <laughs> like, no, it's not. It's going to be the same one. We got some more motherfuckers, man. What the NAACP tried to tell me. Man, so what you up here saying? Your you know shit? what makes me uncomfortable about the NAACP? What? Is I ain't never seen a group of motherfuckers who was like, the NAACP. Like, I haven't seen them represent. You know, like, every clique of motherfuckers, you always get to see them out as a clique. 
No, uh, I ain't seen the NAACP show up beat nowhere and prove no point. Mm -mm. Right, they don't got no website. <laughs> Nigga, how many people in that motherfucker, man? Ain't nobody like, just walked up on her like, well, we NAACP. Do they have my best interest at heart? They ain't changed the name after all these years. That's why they not making no progress, niggas. Damn. Colored people? You still comfortable being called colored people? And you don't even know nobody with NAACP no, till they die. Oh man. Soon as somebody died, they be like, yeah, you know, he this was secretary of the NAACP. You like me? Damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, they were the treasurer for the NAACP. <laughs> you like, damn. <laughs> Well, yeah, we, he, they take him around the city right now. He on the horse. I'm like, <laughs> he get dead on the horse. I'm like, damn, NAACP do that? Ah. NAACP only good for a horse. That's fucked Come up. On, man. Somebody old right now, mad here with NAACP right now. That's crazy to talk about us. You think they listen? You think old people listen to this? Yep, they look at this shit. Don't tell me to say NAACP. Oh, cut, cut it off. Cut, cut it off. that shit off. <laughs> Talking about NAACP, that's, that's who we are. We started that. That's in your family. <laughs> mm -hmm. I be trying to tell you, just don't listen. <laughs> oh, shit. They don't be coming out as a group. Because they old, but they ain't never recruited. They, they never recruited. It's just old people. They just died off. Yeah. Falling. Pop. You know one thing you know, about we got the NAACP up. is they <laughs> always <laughs> ask you to make a donation, but they don't never ask you to join that bitch. <laughs> Let me be for funeral fees, man. <laughs> <laughs> we got three bodies left, man. Uh, and I'm winning that pension. We need two dollars. <laughs> they do not want niggas to join that shit. But they gonna be a group of young niggas, NAACP, the junior mafia. <laughs> What, what did that shit stand for? National uh, Colored Association? What it is? National Advancement Association for Colored People, right? And then that shit owned by Colored white People? I don't like the word. And it's owned by some white people, though? Colored People. I don't know. Everything is. I don't like when people refer to people as people of color. <clears throat> POC. <throat> what the fuck is that? That shit sound goofy as hell. It's like a blank sheet of paper if you just add something to it. It's just of color. Right. They trying to mix all the minorities <laughs> together. We're of color, right? I know. You need us. Like Everybody black need and brown people. Like, Everybody I don't know. need crayons. Everybody love it. I don't it. know what the brown people in this country go through, but I know I, don't, I ain't seen them catching hell like the black ones. Mm -mm. I mean, I know the brown people got it hard because y'all probably like the y'all got the number two spot is the most picked on race, but Ooh. the brown people. So. Cause you know they be like black and brown people, like we be going through the same shit. It ain't the same. Yeah, no, nah, I mean light skin get more hate than brown people. I'm not talking about light skin. You, how you always gotta conflict shit? It's just, Cause, cause it's, just it's really ain't no black and brown. It's like it's either you I'm black saying, or you brown, light, motherfucker. The brown, they have a, that's a whole nother mind. Yeah, see, I'm it's like I'm even brown. Like I'm 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 brown. This nigga is retarded. I'm brown, but think about it, bro. Have you ever seen a black, black motherfucker? Like I'm not black. talking about black and actual brown people. I'm talking about brown being like Hispanic. That that's what I'm saying. Oh, we ain't say that. You said black that, and brown. That's exactly what I'm. No, that's, that's what, what I, I said. That's what started this whole <laughs> fucking that. thing. He ain't say his fan. You gonna I said let him... black and brown. That's what I'm saying. They're trying to mix it all together. Like, that's what they're, they're using brown to represent that community. Oh, no. Oh, so it's not like they're saying, though. hey, man, because you're blacker than him. No, they saying that they, now they are the brown. They So they the brown tan bad. Exactly. Yeah. So they saying they not black. They just, man, shut your ass Do you, up. Thank you. I thought you, you. I thought you were talking about actually black motherfuckers who were like, I'm brown. <laughs> Now you get me. <laughs> no, not <laughs> them browns. <sighs> the actual whatever. And then there's some other brown motherfuckers who ain't claiming that. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Man, all, that, all I know is. I'm black. I'm brown, but I'm black. You dig what I'm saying? And I done seen a motherfucker who was blacker than me. And I was like, shit. Like, and I, I done seen, I'm a nigga. But when you actually seen a real nigga, you like, damn. That's what no that nigga black black. Your shades, J O N. But I feel like that's that's part of it. You never know how to fuck. I think all blacks are the same. Real. Yeah. Hell yeah. If you think about it, I don't give a fuck what you is. Especially like I buy no. Yeah, that's black too. I know, but you come out looking jail. That's bruh. You know how to a nigga hater? 
that makes them fear to see an albino, and they black. You see a white person, but he's black. Ooh, that do something to their soul. Bro, you ain't never seen no black person who be like, I'm white. No, you're not. Never. You ever seen a black person say you what? Who we dominate, my nigga? We we take over any color in the fucking world. That's they call them albino. They call black white people albino. <laughs> Don't this shit sound like albinos? Stay woke. Don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. <laughs> Stay motherfucking woke. Hey, the world crazy. is crazy, man. Fuck these colors. The only color that matter is green. Dig. And if you don't have any of that, your ass is obsolete. You ready for America to open back up? You I'm ready to go back body, on the road? I'm ready to get your body, man. You ready to do some shows? I'm ready, I'm ready to go out there and act a fucking ass. Nigga, what if we can't do no shows till next year? Shit, it is what it is. We can do some movies, some TV. We can do something. You can know what else shit, I'm gonna draw do? some music, can do something, and entertain them folks. I'm gonna sell a bunch of these goddamn sweats too. Throw me them bitches right there. Shit. I'm gonna sell a gang of these. Sell bitches. a whole bunch of them motherfuckers. Man, make sure you hit our website. We hustling in the meantime. What's your website, bro? DCYoflyFish.com. Fuck you, mean entertainment. You know what's going on? DCFG, man. RP. Exactly. Quit touching. Ish.com. RP all the kings, man. RP Bro, we Nixon, gotta, man. We gotta say rest in peace to everybody who we have lost, man. We're losing motherfuckers. I will, but I, I swear, and then it make, it make, it make niggas think like I wish we could have an old conversation to just, we got respect our king, bro. You feel me? Like, this was one on one. They be like, you better start respecting people while they here. You feel me? Don't wait till they gone. You feel me? Respect what people are doing. That's like, if a nigga do good, that's why I said earlier in the beginning of the show, you will always hear something negative about a nigga. But soon as somebody do something good, you ain't gonna never say nothing. Like, nah, I'll give a nigga credit when they do. You mm -hmm. feel me? Just like Trick Daddy opened that restaurant, been feeding all them people and shit, get them breakfast and free. Oh, and OG, you feel me? Ain't nobody gonna never say nothing about that. They'll never say nothing about that. They ain't gonna never say nothing about that. Soon they, just mm -hmm. like my nigga Mr. Fam, who started this dope era shit and sent it to him, man, make sure you go shop dope era and get you some shit like this so you can look like you got money. Mm-hmm. That nice shit. I want me some. We gotta get us some 85 South Show shit like this. We definitely do. Mm-hmm. You be watching that battle rap shit? Bro? Hell yeah. <clears throat> Load it, bro. I just was watching. Um, yeah, I'm out the loop because there's so many niggas that done came now. Pause. So many new niggas have come into the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pause too. So many niggas have entered the game. The <laughs> game has evolved. So, so many rappers I don't know. So many of them niggas I don't know. I don't know them niggas. There's too many. To keep up with. I, I'm, I'm out the loop. You be like, Paul. Paul. Bro, I can't stand that shit. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> but that nigga, one of them niggas, I forgot his name. That nigga went off. He was like, nigga, my bitch better than yours. My mm -hmm. crib bigger. My car faster. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that nigga went off. Yeah, He go off. You ought to go crazy. And the little nigga, nigga. Uh, Chess, he be going off. Chess be going crazy, man. Yeah. Shout out to them niggas, Chess. Shout out uh, my nigga John Khan John and my boy Don, Hitman. Khan, Hitman, Charlie John Clips. John the Donjo went crazy on Jet Boy Man. I fuck with did. Jet Boy Man, but look, hey man, that shit hilarious. What's bro. the other nigga? Tay Rock. Tay Rock be going What's the crazy. little fat nigga name with the uh, with the little wheezy boy? Always talking about how much coke he sold. You talking about uh, you talking about uh, T Top? Man, that nigga go motherfucking he go crazy. crazy. Hey, he just went crazy on. Uh, on I wanna tell a nigga another thing. Run. I just <laughs> sold an ounce of in the motherfucking hood. <laughs> I just got my brother a chain. That nigga be talking big shit. Nah, man. That nigga be I going crazy. All them niggas, man. I fought Rum Nitty too, but he went crazy Rum on Rum Nitty. You know another nigga? Oh, what's the old? That nigga New Jersey nigga? twerk go crazy too. Yeah, twerk, twerk be going off. Shout out to Jazz the rapper, the female yeah, I, I, I be, rapper. Yeah, I, I be messing with the female Bro, rapper. Jazz be every fucking well. Female, female lady battle rapper to me is like how uh, pastor priest look at lady priests. I see, we gotta, I see I'm gonna feel fucked up because I don't know a lot of the lady battle rappers. I know her, Jada Ray. <laughs> the pastor priest do not my like lady The chick, she they don't want no woman up there talking. <laughs> how she gonna lead that girl? That's supposed to be a king up there. I'm like, bro, let that lady talk. I wish female battle rappers <laughs> talked about more shit that I wanna hear. Like, I would want to hear him say some crazy shit. They always talk about how good the pussy is, but they'll never talk about who got the motherfucker. But that's but that what I'm saying, like, battle rap. like a female battle rapper. Like, never battle rap, like a, a female battle rapper. I just gave a nigga some pussy. Woo, woo, woo. Right. 
People say female rappers talk about pussy too much. I don't think they talk about pussy enough. Do you know why? Because it ain't a man in here that has a favorite pussy song by any of these female rappers. You mean to tell me they ain't had one breakthrough to us that, that we like? All these songs about pussy. We don't have one anthem. Like, it ain't one of them songs that come up in the club and niggas be like, oh, we about to get our dick sucked. Where is that? They can't, they can't throw us one. <laughs> we did have it with the Yin Yang twin. To the window, to the wall, to the wall, to the sweat drop down my ball. Let me tell you something, them hoes had to hear that shit. To the sweat drop down my balls, but that's all what... these bitches crawl, all skeet, skeet, motherfucker. All skeet, skeet, goddamn. And the crazy part all is, skeet, skeet, women skeet, know exactly the type of shit we would want to hear. Started crook. Your neck front so clean, your neck front, and she harassing me, so that fine, dick good and fine. And I came to the club, I did a little duck. Can I play with your You know why that wasn't an anthem for niggas? Cause look at the yin yang twins. You see, I'm drunk, can I need to calm down? Security guard go to swimming now, nigga you drunk. Can, you can pull some <laughs> bad bitches out the club, but they gonna be like, you gotta leave your home for them here, huh? Hey, man, them niggas were going crazy, bro. She's getting that crunk in the club, and then she twerk. I like that like that's your female twerk. Taking her clothes off. Ooh, she naked. Eighteen years, how they don't disrespect. Bro, you know that nigga was so that nigga was like, ooh, she naked. Eighteen years. That nigga said, eighteen years, how they don't disrespect it. <laughs> what? And he told her how to pop. He said, shout it pop your thing like this. Like, what the fuck? Ooh, she naked. 18 years old, that whole dish was making. Hey, man, they had, they were, I don't know what happened with them. Yeah. Them niggas was crazy in real life. Oh, that my dog, bro. If I you went with her, anywhere right? and the Yin Yang twins was in the building, you was definitely going to hear that nigga saying. <laughs> bro, you remember when uh, Monique did them dirty at the BET Award for that shit, boy? That, you going to make me look the clip up. Boy, he, she, boy she said, hi, but she went. Monique on me. And all he was doing it was just like, ha, ha, ha. They got low here. I love Monique. I got so much love and respect for Monique. Sometimes she just pop up on my Instagram timeline. And then soon as, like, I don't never skip the video because soon as that bitch come on, she be like, hey, my love. I be like, I got this. She, this is Let me tell you us. Something. This is a small group of loved people. Monique, like one of them auntie, it don't matter who don't like her. I'ma always rock with her, cause every time she, she see me, it's so much love, bro. And it's like, I don't get that with other people. I don't care. I don't care what nobody can say about Monique, bro. Monique is, and it don't matter. She can not fuck with somebody that's close to me. I'm like, listen here, bro. This lady right here is so cool. You she did is. something. She fuck. You did something. It's something she did. You did what she didn't like it. It was something for her to not fuck with you or if she yeah, even gave you a real, cause sometimes people don't know how to take like real, you know what I'm saying? That real conversation with a motherfucker. Somebody, you, as soon as you do something and she, somebody snap on you about it. They feel like that, that was fucked up. You did some fucked up shit. Cause I recognize the fuck shit you did. Right. Come on, Joe. So, hell nah, but I'm She wasn't the real one, fuck. man. Y'all did the movie and shit. Hell yeah. yeah. Every time she, she, she told me sit right beside her. She like one of them teachers that know you get in trouble. But she gonna fuck with you, make sure you don't get. Right she ain't about to let you fail. Man, nope. It's real. She kid, she kid <laughs> gang with me the entire uh, almost crib. Mm. That, that was like that'd be a moment I never forget. Out of everybody, I fuck with everybody, but it was just like hell no, I can sit and say something to Monique right, right now and be like, and she rocking with it. Oh baby, you so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> it was lit. That's wild, man. You missed you missed the entertainment world yet? Hey, yeah, it was a it was a, it was <clears> hectic <throat> though, cause nigga, sometimes you gotta go find yourself, bro. You gotta go relax. I ain't never lost myself, so I ain't, I'm cool. Yeah, I mean it ain't that. You just gotta go relax, bro. Cause you nigga get into a system, you feel me? And I ain't even did nothing that I wanna do. You feel me? I'm out here handling business, whooping around, helping motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I'm missing emotion and shit. I ain't even sat out yet. Yeah. You feel me? I ain't even got no time for myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm still me, but damn, I need to breathe. You feel what I'm saying? So 
I breathed. I done breathed enough. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I'll tell you that. I <laughs> I'm sick of me. <laughs> but I'm breathing. I'm sick of me. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm so goddamn fed up with myself. I done did everything I thought I wanted to do. I done listened to every song that I missed. When it was, I done listened to all this shit. I'm caught up on the world. I'm tired. I said, fuck that shit. I Nigga, this shit been going more. on too goddamn long. You know shit crazy. I'm I'm so mad that I see motherfuckers at the bank cash stemming that shit, but I ain't can't no I ain't put no deposit in. This is so what man. I wanted to ask the niggas who watched this <laughs> well, show. I need I need some money, man. To all the niggas who been at the house quarantining with your girl, y'all been together the whole time. Have you caught her cheating yet? She done slipped up. Her sad nigga done hit her. Well, somebody let hit us back, let you, us man. know. You been around motherfucker too long. You know you you girl slip up after a certain amount of time. She thinks she gonna catch you fucking up, but she been fucking up on the low. You know, caught a bitch cheating on you, man. Not me, man. Oh. I'm just speaking to the constituency. <laughs> Whatever that lady do on her free time, that's her motherfucking business. You tell. Right. But I couldn't. I I wouldn't want to be the nigga that found out. You would have to tell me. Like I ain't don't go you. through. Don't go through. Because I look phone. when if I'm fucking with somebody, I look at us like two bank robbers, right? Right. Like we rob banks together. You can't rob your fucking robbing partner. You can lie to every one of these niggas, but you can't lie to me though. That's the only, that's like part of the code of fucking with me. Right. You can't goddamn, like I, if I feel like you bullshit, cause I bring you around too much real shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, in my life, I might bring you in the room with all the money in the goddamn on the floor. You never know. It's like, I need a certain level right. of motherfucking consistency. <laughs> You definitely gotta right, have that, because that it's real like, shit. No, I'm not about to show you all this play of shit I got going on and invite you in my world and then you you know what I'm saying? Like I'm 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 over here loving the, loving you and shit, and then a nigga got you saved under the super head. He could just hit you <laughs> and get his dick sucked. And I'm over here building a foundation <laughs> with you. And you another nigga dick sucker. Let me know that. Then I got the choice of like, do I throw this, do I save her or do I just get the head? Don't force me <laughs> into being your savior. <laughs> Let me pick if I want to save. Because if that's the case, don't trick me into saving you. Because then if I was just going to be out here saving a motherfucker, I would pick. I know I know who needs saving. Don't sneak me into saving you. You said, you said I'm on the Superhead. <laughs> I done saved Superhead. I done fucked the whole game directly. You know how many niggas is mad at me? Many niggas done married our bitch. That nigga selfish in a motherfucker. He could have just got the head like we been doing. Damn, man, he done man. took off the market. She don't even text back no more. I used to hit a three, four, seven in the morning. I'm married oh. now. I can't be this. And they, and, and they still take me like, I'm married. I can't be disrespectful. Oh, nigga, that's the You question. be like, bitch, it's open that shit. That's the question shit. you ask for niggas. I need feedback on this one. Damn. You ever lost your favorite dick sucker? I lost, I lost one of my favorite freaks. I be like, I still check check on that bitch. I, like, I just see it. I don't check on her. Like, I don't hit her yeah, up. No, I just no. be watching like, real yeah, nah, that bitch. She still alive. <laughs> OK, that bitch still alive. <laughs> Fuck around. <laughs> Damn, boy, that motherfucker that crazy right there. Woo, I can't let nobody know who she is. Oh, uh, woo, that motherfucker crazy. She uh, still single. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Cause I, one thing about her, you see your freak, this the only thing that hurt a nigga hard. When you see that bitch in that white dress, and she just be like, and you be like, it been so happy, bro. She's so happy. Like, she tired of horn. She tired. She finna hold to only him. Well, he about to get all he that. He finna get all that holdings. All that holdings to she himself. She don't need All that holdings to himself. What? All that good gawk gawk by himself. Oh, my Lord. Bro, that shit hurt a nigga hard. You lose your favorite dick son. Then you see the ten minutes all the I love you, I miss you, can't wait to see you again. Bitch, I'll never see you again. Never. <laughs> that head have a nigga catching feelings, boy. You that ever had the head crazy. so good? He be like, she understands me. Like she get it. <laughs> she gets me. She done ate this dick off my body. <laughs> Put it back on, ate it off again. I be wanting to fuck. Head cool, but I be wanna fuck. <laughs> it's something about that pussy. It's another feeling. Head is cool, that cool. Bro, I had got some head so good one time, I could feel exactly where my shoulders was at. 
I could feel how my shit was set up. You could feel your That shit was like going to the chiropractor. Hell no. Suck my shoulder. Feel my whole shit. <laughs> that nigga need a hug. <laughs> this bitch love me. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> that boy ready to put that ring yeah, on I'm that you, bro, I had, bro, Man, motherfucker remixed my dick one time. Man. She had hit me with the move. I was like, what, what, what you? What you? Oh, what you? Oh, what you? What you do? I ain't know my shit could do that. I ain't know I could do that. What is you blowing in? What did you do? What is you? Ooh, what she doing? What she doing? What she doing? What she doing? Ha! Shit! Shit! Woohoo! Shit! What's she doing? <laughs> Who told you that? Who told you that? <laughs> Niggas start saying shit ain't got nothing to do with it. Who told you that? <laughs> How you know? That How you know? Stupid. Who what you doing? Who you doing? <laughs> Ooh, who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> I be ready for Hey man, next time you get some head, just say some random shit. Like, oh, why you say that? Why you say that? Oh, you being selfish. Look how selfish you are. Oh, you're so selfish. It's all about you, ain't it? It's all about you. Oh, it's all about you. Oh, got to make it feel great. Bro, food. just do that. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, we be serious with me. But I be stupid. I'm a bust. You give me head long enough, bitch. It's going to be over with. <laughs> you going to be mad at me. She's not ready to fuck. I'm like, hey, you got that? Yeah. yeah <laughs> that take motherfucker it. came out already. Shit, yeah, what you thought it was? I'm going to let it out. Shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you got to get up if you get up. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> fuck wrong with you. You ever try to stop her and she's move your hand like, mm-mm, you be like, all right. No, yeah. this is the one. You ever got Keep the going head. Keep going You ever got the head from the chick she ain't want you to look at her? I don't like it. Don't oh, look at me. Don't look at me. Okay. What's your What's your I don't know about you. I don't know about you. You're so selfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so selfish. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, what you, did you blowing on it? Oh, shit. Oh, hi, here. Bro, that shit just brought up so many memories. Your favorite dick suck. Over the years, nigga. Over the years. Bro, I know a bad bit right now, bro. You went, I ain't even gonna say it. Bro, some women. <laughs> so you gotta say it. Sometimes that shit, they be like, nah, bro. Can I be saying, like, like yeah, nah. I ain't gonna say her name, bro, bro. I ain't gonna say how I got it, though, okay. bro. She gave it to me. All right, bet. Yeah. That means all that matters. It, it, I didn't take it. No, I ain't take it. She gave it. She like, she was willing it. Oh. I, it was, I don't want people to know how she got it and it was received. Oh. I, I, I paid for it, buddy. Oh. <laughs> you could see, we would have never knew that if you didn't see it. Because, oh, you know, motherfucker be like, how he get it then? You know how motherfuckers be like, well, hey, I paid for it. Okay, good. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck how I, I'm looking out for this bitch. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So I paid for it, bro, but you wouldn't even believe oh, <laughs> the amount and who it was. You be I'm like, what? what? Crazy. What? <laughs> it was, it was, bro, my partner told me, he like, bro, get who whooping the whooping. I'm like, who? He like, shout. I'm like, bro, you lying. He said, but get for how much? I said, what? He said, for whoop, the whoop. <laughs> Nigga, I, I swear, well, I was like, you are lying. He said, watch this. <laughs> whoop, the whoop, for the whoop, the whoop. I was like, what? Bad one. Now, if I show you her, I'm like, hmm, her. Bro. Whoop, the whoop, for the whoop, the whoop. Wow. Wow. Great story, bro. Great. Great. And there you have it. And there you have it. She probably had some of the best too. For real. See, I'm talking about. I was, it was crazy, and to my mind, 
I'm like, shout out to how much? This crazy. You'll never believe it. Wow. Whoop de woo for the whoop de woo. That one on the young wild day, man. We all yeah. Bumba Clot Rastafari. Don't <laughs> know what the fuck are in. Go on with the fuck. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Like this, like it, this social media shit could have been out back. Now we young, bro. That one glad I, when we came out with the fable era, it was just fights. That was it. Number fights. And nigga ain't posting no no pictures, no nothing. Just fights. Your transitions are crazy. <laughs> I don't know where we at. I was still talking about the, the you know, the blunt, the whoop, the whoop. Well, I know what I'm saying. We paid the whoop, the whoop, the but whoop, I'm saying. Whoop, but the whoop, but back the then, we couldn't get the whoop, the whoop. How these niggas doing it now? You did. Damn. Back then, it was way more reckless. Like, even back then, bro, think about it in the 70s, it was way more raw fucking than it is now. Yep, you know why? Because pussy had a hair on it. I'm talking about back then, like, you know, nigga wasn't using no rubber. Rubber no. came out in the 80s. Pussy was safe back then. Right. No, they was about it. They was out in the 70s. Yeah. Niggas started using them. Rubber was like hand sanitizer. You know it's, you know what I'm mean? saying? You like, yeah. I ain't fucking with this shit. Well, you got to be careful out here. The pussy game do. is definitely dangerous. It's different now. Yeah. <clears throat> Sir. You got some shit out here that'll turn your dick into a <laughs> foot with, with a nail on it. You have, your dick just look like a big ass toe. <laughs> and you will actually have this is a million things that could go wrong. Stay safe out here. The Please virus do. is out, man. People they slowly trying to open the world back up. But be careful when you you know, moving around and maneuvering and shit. Smoke a lot of weed, stay Cover right yourself. Up. Make sure your loved ones are safe. You know, keep them kids and shit in the house as long as you can. People keep asking us, you know, so when the shows and shit gonna resume. I don't know. It's gonna be a while before we get to be around a lot of motherfuckers. So, okay. you know, you gonna hit the clubs? I hit the clubs. You gonna start going back in the clubs? Yeah, first. yeah. I gotta get back in motion. Yeah. I ain't got them in front of my people and had a good time. I need they ass too. Shit, yeah. I ain't even buy no bread. I need my therapy. Mm-hmm. I need to go talk to my. I don't like to talk to people. Right. I, don't, I ain't I ain't finna talk to nobody who don't give a fuck. I ain't talking to no person who getting paid for that. Why like, not? cuz. That shit's stupid. Those are professionals. They no can solution. help you, DC. They're here to find a solution. That's what you You doing. don't have a solution. No, no. You're getting paid to do that. You don't care, motherfucker. No, it's you therapeutic. You on the clock. It's therapeutic. It makes yeah, you feel right. better, DC. It ain't therapeutic. So tell me what's on your mind. Bitch, don't no, even start with that. That's where you fuck it's up. A space don't ask where me what's on my mind. you can get an unbiased opinion. That's why we use Ryan to do the research, man. You're, you're gonna have to find peace in your older age, DC. That's why I like going on stage. I'm at that and age. And it's a bunch of motherfuckers that's where I be like, on that same level as me. And I'm like, man, y'all know what's on my mind. I miss that stage like Wait, DC, let me tell you this, nigga. Because you care. You give a fuck. Don't you ugly little girl? I miss it. I miss it. I miss the love. I miss walking to the stage. I miss the intro. I miss it. Doing an hour worth of jokes and just funny shit. Making fun of this shit. nigga ugly ass shirt with the eagle claw on it. Nigga came to my show one time, nigga had a goddamn one of them uh, like city trend shirt with the with the motherfucking bedazzled eagle. No. Shit, Went crazy on. Shit was horrible. Don't nigga be tripped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that shit. Turn it up. Oh. Let me hear some. On the speaker you got, we, we done made enough money to get a speaker. Man, that nigga still got, damn, still got the they speaker. They gotta fix it off speaker, bro. Where your speakers at, bro? He left. <laughs> oh, you just left it? <laughs> this nigga just left his shit, bro. Look, nigga got a glass. So I told y'all he talked different with his glasses. I forgot one of them, though. Man, this nigga needs. Man, somebody sent us some speakers <laughs> for this nigga, man. Somebody got some shit that. People out there with a lot of shit that they ain't using, man. If you want to donate your shit to J-O-N, we're going to post post the P.O. box again, Joe. You got it saved on the file somewhere? Post the P.O. box. People be wanting to send us shit. Just post the P.O. box, man. Chad, you got me? Throw it in there. We got in the ass to run. Shout out to all the people that's been supporting the 85 South Show for a long ass time. We fuck with you. We love y'all to We death. love you. We've been growing with you. 
The numbers been going crazy, bro. Have you been seeing the numbers on this shit? I know it, core. I know niggas at the house. We put this shit up. That shit made a million in three hours. I'm like, niggas are at the career. <laughs> niggas at niggas the house. Niggas at the house house. house house. Like, they on notification is on what? Stand by. Right. So when we put that shit up, that bitch had a million. Yeah. Already. We love it, man. We love That's that why shit. we keep coming to work. Like, y'all niggas ready to see this shit. We ready for y'all to see it also, man. And hey, y'all relax. I'm still I'm still on Joe ass. I'm telling Joe, whatever in the vault, drop that shit at this point. Niggas is at the crib bored as a motherfucker. I, they want to see it. Drop it. Whatever's in that bitch, Joe, just go crazy. Drop whatever. We got an interview somewhere with somebody. Let them see that shit. Don't give a fuck if it's from 2017. Drop it. Niggas is bored. They done seen all the clips. Hey, bro. We been doing this shit when niggas weren't even coming to the show, bro. I remember my first show, nigga ran, dog. 100 motherfuckers. Nigga didn't even pay us our back then. Oh, that nigga in Arkansas? And that's what the day that we... We didn't just, even break even at that show. That's the show. day we decided that we ain't, we don't let niggas book us. Yep. You don't get but one time to We did that up. shit after one that, time, after that, boy. We let, a, let me tell you something. We let a nigga talk, down talk, us, talk us into saying, boy, I can walk y'all right into the club. I know the nigga. And when we get there, he had a simple, you know, set up and everything. But it was time to get that little, even if it was a back end. I don't even know if it was a back end. You feel me? Nigga, it was, I mean, it was a little It was time. just a, was, a, a half. He a, it, 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 another a, half. 875. You know what I'm saying? But we need that 875. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No. Nigga ain't even show up, man. Then before you know, we like, we ain't gonna never let them niggas book through us again. So we gonna book ourselves. That was a defining moment. We don't need no nigga to tell niggas that we coming. <laughs> That's all the nigga doing. Hey, you know they coming, right? Look, I got a picture of them coming. Man, shut your ass up. We tell these motherfuckers before we get there that we gonna be there. And they fuck yeah, y'all. Shit right too, boy. We really don't need them niggas, We don't need man. to understand how we do this shit. Well, we got this shit right, boy. Yup. <laughs> Yo. Got that shit right, gang. For real, for real. Ran it up. I'm talking about. Never going back. I'm talking about for real. Never broke again, Carlo. <laughs> 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 I ain't never trying to be broke again. That nigga got the best name out of all of the new rappers. They never broke again. <laughs> never broke again. I, man, what hell no? I'm trying to stay up there for that bullshit. What? I'm trying to be wealthy. That's why I don't need you the word rich. Mm-mm. I look up what the word rich is and what they define with how much you supposed to have for you to be rich. Everybody rich. To be honest. I've been Financial start, you stability started in the businesses rich. since this shit going, uh, since the quarantine. Um, I've been selling all kind of shit. I got merch. I got I'm linked up with the nigga that was making me these dope ass candles. I'm all up in nigga trap house. I'm finna with, get a, uh, I'm finna get a uh, skincare. Pineapple sage candles, man. Well, hey, make sure you get the candles too. Hit my. Make sure y'all go get them candles, get man. Them motherfuckers smell good. I'm gonna have to pay you to do some promo for me. I just did it, nigga. I'm just, <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm talking about some other <laughs> shit. I'm oh. just trying to expand. Oh, yeah, here you go. The only you thing gotta, is, man, all, the sh- all my merch is shipping out of California. It's taking them a long time. To oh, yeah, they, they, they all locked down. Nigga, you ain't got to pay me. Nigga, I got to do that shit. All right, bet. Well, you got a lot of followers and shit. I was just trying to, I'm just trying to make true. sure you know that I was serious about endorsing my brand. I ain't sure. I did pay you for your car and my shit, though. You did. <laughs> I did do that. Yeah. I gave you can throw a little nigga. Yeah, oh, nigga little I was like, no, nah, but you good. I got a bunch of little No, 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 Oh shit, sell it for 75 and on firm. Like <laughs> niggas on credit, firm. Don't be like, I got a piece of What else you selling? Oh, I got a little Astro van for anybody who like to travel. <laughs> <laughs> that way you up, you selling them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you what like you want, that, what you want for it? If you like to travel and live in your car. <laughs> what you want for it? <laughs> How much you selling it for? 
Hey, that big crack goes through when you hit it too. <laughs> they love that shit. Ooh, it warm, boy. You can watch the TV. You got uh, 5,500. Firm. Firm. Firm, man. Good ties has been kept real astral van. Ready. Ooh, ready. Warm. You can lay down. Park that shit to the side. Go to that third seat. No, nobody know you in your car. Flat bed, big ass bed. You can have a bitch in there too. Boy, crazy. Yo ass, yo ass. You got an Astro van, 5,500. Firm. No, 48, no. Firm. Firm. 5,500. Not budget. No, if you come get it, I, we, I'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. If you travel, I don't come know. Get I'm it. thinking about buying me an old school Escalade. What? Just to have one. Hell. Do I that. wouldn't allow you to do that. I really want one. An Escalade? Yeah. Or do you just want an Escalade truck? Mm hmm. Take on, get the new one up in this. Okay. I like the old one. Get a, get a, get a, get a Denali. Get a GMC. Them uh, bitches cold. If you're going to go old. Not the box one. I just want, like the kind of like in the middle. If you get the old Cadillac Escalade, I'd rather really you had an old GMC Denali. Because you can get a nice them. Denali with some nice chrome rims. I want one. For about though. like. For like 120 something, 120 something K miles on it. Okay, you get all that Cadillac. I'm Hell no. Nah. getting one though. That shit gonna be like, are we there yet? I need one. You need one? Just in case. Just I in case know, I might want to. I know live you, in you'll get bitch. a Cadillac, put that bitch on them things, and then to turn that bitch into a whole nother car. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I already know what's happening. That's the crazy part about this sh entertainment shit. I it's like, it don't, I don't give a fuck what's new. I'm just going to buy the shit that I wanted <laughs> when I wanted it. Right. See, that's how I am. I don't even care about the new shit. I'd rather buy the old shit and then fix it up. Nigga, I bought have a, it a ride like I want. I bought a 2001 Camaro just because I wanted one for graduation. Like, that's when I graduated in 2001. That was like, that's that's what I wanted in 2001. So I bought one. Right. That's what you did. And sometimes I, I just be in that bitch like, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so funny to me though, bro. Like every car that I done ever bought, I bought it for a reason. <laughs> I got a, I got a fucking, I got a black Corvette just like the one Michael he Jordan said, had. Stupid. I did, I'm just like this, my Michael Jordan Corvette. <laughs> Fuck you. Stupid. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you just do shit because you want to do it. I can't believe I bought an extra The nigga bought an extra But I'm not paying no 5500 oh for the fucking Astro van. I ain't, I ain't never seen an Astro van that's worth that much money in, in actual real life. If you got a fuck man, you bought that bitch. But I can't get an Escalade. Did you see this shit? This, this, this is the nigga I'm gonna take advice from. He bought an Astro van, but I can't buy an Escalade. Oh shit! Like you got good advice. Ah. <laughs> fuck you, DC. Oh, oh shit. Can't even ah. believe I considered what the fuck you said. Ah. Astro van, you should have drove it. Oh shit. Ah. Hey bro, send some pictures of that bitch so we can put it in the episode. Because it hurt. <laughs> He's trying to laugh oh, through the pain. Oh shit! Oh my god! Boy, I bought that show, man. Listen, bro. Hold up, I need some tissue. Oh you shit! You did that shit. Oh, listen, bro. Listen, when I pulled in the driveway, my girl called me and said, "Baby, somebody pull up in that show, man." I said, "It's me." <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
See, that's going to be a hard sell. Ooh. That's a lot of money for an Astro van, bro. <laughs> hey, man, there's some good vans out there on the market, bro. Boy. You might just be stuck with that bitch. Boy, this is a TV show. How many miles on it? Yeah, like, what? <laughs> 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 you think you're about to get fired, Rick? <laughs> he think he going to get fired, Rick. Right? Oh, shit. Boy, oh. Shit, man, Astro van. Boy, somebody going to want that bitch. No, they not. Yes, they is. No, they Hey, oh man. shit! You probably could get the five hundred. Oh, I mean, ain't nobody spending no more than fifteen hundred, two thousand for that bitch. That's the most. I'm talking about that's in mint condition. Kelly Blue Book. Shit! Hey, look up the Kelly. What year? Uh-huh. <laughs> they gonna try to get my money back. <laughs> it's about an eighty-eight. Fuck that! Ain't I mean, about an eighty-eight. <laughs> it's an eighty-eight. These niggas trapped me. <laughs> <laughs> You spit at him with him. And the nigga like, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Uh, you g- give me seven, seven thousand. Hey, hey, you did. Hey, I thought this was gonna be like a traveling van. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Out of all this shit to buy, you just said, what the fuck? Hey, man. Hey, bro, what's the Kelly Blue Book oh, value? Oh, this what is going to be the kill. Hey, boy, what I took it I bet it ain't no one close to 5,000. I bet it ain't no one close to 5,000. Them bitches want 5,000 new. Oh. <laughs> it ain't about what you buy. It's about who you buy it from. I want 50 fuck out of it. It ain't got shit to do with it. It oh, ain't got shit to do with it. Oh. Oh, it's real, I, I ain't need you to look that up. I ain't need you to look that up. This nigga got $200, um, and that's in mint condition. I, don't, I ain't need you to look that up, though. And hey, you know this shit ain't mint condition. Bruh. Oh, shit. That shit hit home, DC. I ain't know where he was going. I got him out of my car. DC, there, you gonna have I to buy an Escalade. Too bad. You gonna have to buy an Escalade and put that extra van ah! inside that bitch so you can get your 55 <laughs> out of yours. That is hilarious. Oh, shit. How you feel, DC? That was therapy. That felt great. I'm just saying. you. Because I never told nobody I felt stupid about buying that car. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I need to be in front of my people so I can express because no therapist is finna make get that up out of me. What's wrong with you, bitch? I'm fine. <laughs> What's wrong with you? But that been on my mind ever since I bought that car. I hate to be the one to oh. tell you you gonna have that bitch if you want 55. Oh, that is hilarious. You really, hey, you really pushing it, asking for 500 because the average. 29 and and that's in mint condition. That bitch, fuck mint. That bitch is spear mint condition. You <laughs> dig what I'm saying? Woo! Boy, you done really, really took me out with this one, man. Boy. 
You ain't had to do me like that. That shit was so funny. Cause I really thought you liked your car. Not like, that Like you got so many. I, don't, I really thought you like just love your fucking car. That's what I'm saying. I don't have no attachment to all of them. I just, so they just some funny. of them bitches I just come across and I be like, this is too good. And your Camaro, if the black one. I'm pulling that bitch out. Y'all ain't The black one? It. Yeah. Yeah, I fought with that one. You ain't seen it since I put the wheels on. Yes, I did. You did? Yes, sir. I ain't even brought it out. I might just. Oh, no. Nah. Well, you I brought, brought, you brought it out since the last time you drove it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh -uh, I got some wheels. I changed it. That bitch cold. It's just that they wouldn't. I wouldn't look. I wasn't in the market. I just so what about couldn't. the green car? I know you like the green car. Yeah, that bitch at the crib. Oh, all right. All right, about to say. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Kevin. This is stupid. What? Uh. Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of dumb ass shit. Uh. I'm. That's what I, I just buy shit, man. <laughs> all the shit that I ever wanted in life. It ain't but like probably five or six things that I ain't bought that, that I haven't bought that I probably still want. And I'm just wait. I could buy them now. I'm just waiting. You say about I'm five, just, six things. It ain't but like five or six more things I want for real. What car? And just material shit. Period. Yeah, period. I ain't never really just had a dream or some shit that I wanted. Like, ooh, I want that. And I'm waiting to buy that shit because I don't want. I'm just. That's just why waiting. I bought an extra van. <laughs> you bought an extra van. You needed to buy that motherfucker because you needed to learn. That was a lesson. That was a fucking lesson. <laughs> <laughs> now you got them think you get 5500 for <laughs> And I'm think I'm optimistic. Yeah, we going to sell it. No fuck me. <laughs> I was, hey man, they fucking lock hey, us up for doing somebody hey, like that. Hey, 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 the only way you car. can sell this bitch for 5500 is if you put $3000 in the glove box. <laughs> 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 that motherfucking check engine light on right now. Oh hell no! Nah. That bitch right. That what I'm trying to tell you, gay. A nigga can go three hundred thousand miles. Listen. I bet the transmission slipping. Why you, nigga? You fuck. You got me fucked Shit up. Shit hard to the mother. You fucking up the sale. <laughs> you fucking up the sale. No. Okay. That motherfucker run good. It run good. That motherfucker is in mint perfect condition. Real talk. No it. No lights on. No nothing. You gonna send the pictures, man? No, that bitch running. I'm telling him to get it washed and I'm gonna show y'all. All right. Shine that bitch up, how everybody do Post it on the gram, my nigga. I'm telling you. That bitch might be too funny to keep. Bro, you is Might be too bro. funny to sell, I mean. That nigga That bitch cool, hilarious. Bro. You just made that bitch le legendary. How about that? He said, nigga, you gonna take me out to buy a Cadillac Escalade? <laughs> you bought an Escalade? I, I for real want an Escalade, though. <laughs> I don't, Cause I don't have no SUV or nothing <laughs> like that. I don't have no SUV. Period. I need one. <laughs> Anybody got some low mileage, uh, older model SUV? Send them to me. I fuck with them. Got to be low mileage. Though. If it's some older <laughs> shit, <clears throat> got some low mileage shit like G, like DCs. You got an old school GMC Denali, the box body, about. Oh, 50,000 miles on hit me. Fuck, oh, I was fucking. Or Escalade. I, only, I like black on black shit. And like, we got some great people who've been hitting black me. Black trying to sell me some shit. One nigga hit me with a clean ass 69 Camaro, but that bitch was 40 racks. I was like, nigga, I'm not buying no $40,000. If car. I do buy another car, <clears throat> Skylock, Chevelle, or a 96 Impala. It's either one of those three. I got that. Yeah. A Skylock, a Chevelle. Or Impala, I got to have it. At this or point, El Camino. At this point, I can't even sell my Impala. None of them. I shit. I got too much money tied up in them bitches. You might well keep them. Ain't nobody gonna respect the coins I have invested. Like in how much shit. you want to sell? What's blue? Exactly. You, know? exactly. you ain't gonna go. You ain't gonna go to Kelly Blue Book on them bitches. Mm -mm, Cause I done spent way too much money. I ain't gonna wanna hear that shit. Making them bitches immaculate. <laughs> That's why I'm just gonna keep them forever. <laughs> That's what Kelly said. <laughs> No, some, somebody with the paper going to understand that this is That's definitely That's all I'm worth. telling you, that the Astro van is going to go. Like you got a one of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, shit your ass up. <laughs> this is a stupid new mystery van, bro. Listen, hey, man, bro. let's get the fuck out of here. Wrap this I'm shit up, bad. BC. Y'all make sure y'all right. stay in the loop with us and, and whatever's for sale. Start sending us whatever you see in your city for sale. Oh, you see this man. type of nigga that buy Astro van. Oh, listen, listen, I put some insurance on it. <laughs> Nigga that put a tag on the bitch, got it in his name. He had big plans for this Astro van. <laughs> ah! Ah! I put the insurance on it. <laughs>
Hey man, we getting the fuck out of here. This has been another episode live from the trap living room. It's your man Carlos Miller. This nigga DC Young Fly, aka Astro Van Shorty. <laughs> Bro, that is hilarious, bro. Oh, that's a fuck. Bro. Bro, I ain't laughing that hard to ice cream, man. Because I want to have sex for ice cream. Oh, man. What's that? Uh, uh, bro, you got to send me that clip. I probably laughed for like 10 minutes. That shit was crazy, bro. I can't believe I bought it. That bitch been apart. Bro, yeah, I gotta see a video of this shit. You ready to do this right quick? Hey, yeah, yeah, exactly. man. All right, bro, look, we got some new merch in. Man, come on, man. That gave me a big ass jacket, man. That jacket oh, way too big. Bigger than a motherfucker. You know we got look, all sides. Come on, but these are the ones I ordered, though. This is my oh, size. Oh, yeah. the perfect size, man. Where, where they can find them at? 85apparel.com. Mmm. Know what time it is? Get your, get your shit right now. <laughs> And that's a wrap. Yes, it is, bro. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Yep. That was the hardest I have ever laughed. <sighs> bro, you really bought the van. Bro, listen. When you said that shit, cause listen, I really think, I thought you like you love every laugh. It don't matter what car it is. It can be an ugly ass car. You bought it because yeah. you fuck with cars. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. But for you to buy a car, put money into it, and for you to ride and be like, man, this shit is stupid. What? This shit dumb. That shit hit home.